Actually, we're gonna save it. Are you ready? You're yeah. wild. This mm -hmm. is scented. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys. What's going on? <laughs> Welcome to Checking In. We, uh, Welcome. I, I'm trying to figure out if we have this visqueen on here because we're going to murder somebody tonight yes. or what's yeah, going on. I've so. had a we, real bad day. Ooh, oh, no. We have some news for you, Papa. <laughs> oh, no. Gosh. You're going to die. Oh, no. This is great. <laughs> so, uh, so we obviously have some clay here. Clay. And clay. Obviously. We're coming out. Yeah. Coming out clay. Coming so out. what is uh, so what? Who came up with this idea, and what what exactly are we supposed to be doing tonight? Listen, mom came up with the idea, but we're just gonna have some fun. All right, look, I'm making spaghetti strings right here. Oh, that's Isn't like that, is it play doh that you're doing? Is that clay? This is uh, oh, so that could be clay. like hair. So okay, let's just say yeah, look what at that. what are we actually doing? So we've got fun. a couple different. We've got some white clay and some terracotta clay. Okay, <gasps> and where's then, the black clay? You racist? They didn't have <laughs> any. <laughs> but this is this is my brown clay okay <laughs> so All we right, got brown okay. and we got white yeah i'm just and, fucking around and yeah. then the reason for these is because i was trying to find some tools because we can get creative with this yeah. and what, if what, we want to decorate right. and the only thing that had was this multi-pack but mm -hmm. it also oh. had this silly scented dough which oh, is, yeah. scented i thought dough. was interesting <laughs> from what do you think? Yeah, this, but like this, you said, it could also be for decoration. I would say that smells like lime. It's green apple. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Well, wrong. <laughs> wrong. Uh, wrong. <laughs> so there's some extrusion kits. Yeah. Extrusion kits. But what are so? Okay. Are, is there a competition here? Or are we just? Of course. Are we just it's doing the always, podcast? It's always a competition. All right, so are, is there? Is there? Do we? Are we making like a portrait? We're making okay. a, a freaking. Can I lay down some ground rules? Yeah. yeah, a cup. What so are we doing? I think we can. Uh, do whatever we want, but I also want some people in chat, right? I want people us to chat. super yep. chat us and challenge us. Yeah. To so, see, well, all right, geez. I want you to make this, yeah, okay? And we fair. we can all try. Maybe do like a round or two of that. See how so it goes. It, so we're not just making one thing. We're making multiple things. I, I'm having a problem me? with this. <laughs> Listen, you been yeah. watching. You Mom, oh, yeah. So let's stab them. Okay, show. stab them. Yeah. Stab yeah. them. Uh, so listen, <laughs> that is true. Uh, I think that this was inspired by uh, the pottery show that's on... HBO Max, yes, the great, yeah. pottery. Uh, the great pottery off or something like that. I don't know. What <laughs> I think it's something like that. Challenge. Something like yeah, that. It's Challenge. Close Challenge. Yeah, something like that. So, uh, yeah, we do we do like the pottery show. It's oh. pretty cool. It's clay, but I'm a I was, big pot guy. It's clay. I was really hoping that uh, we'd have the the little ghost scene, you know, with Patrick Swayze mm. with the little turning wheel, and then you know, well, I we can't oh. have the scene because that's yeah. copyrighted. Well, no. we could, yeah. We're trying to re recreate. Re recreate the oh, scene. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to lie. Well, I did briefly look, but there were no pottery wheels at Michael's. Pottery wheels would have been good. We should have <laughs> just got Lady Susan, and you could have spun <laughs> it while I was doing this. So maybe if this goes well, if the fans mm. dig it's it. It's not going to go well. It will. It's going <laughs> to go horrible. With that attitude. But no, if, if it does go well, okay. all right. Swell. And maybe we can buy some pottery wheels or yeah. one. And, uh, and do and then, ah, it's so dirty though. See, this is my okay, problem stop with this. With the excuses. No, this is my problem. Always, this always. is my problem with with this with whole life. thing. Is that I don't like getting dirty. Well, like you're my not hands. Like the oh, terracotta. see, already I'm grossed out by this. Okay, can I? Can we yeah. dig deep into this? Yeah, go ahead. What was the first thing that started your fear, Ooh, good question, or discomfort with getting your hands dirty? Because it, it descends yeah, messy from... messy and dirty. What'd you Ooh. do as a child? So I think really, what to be totally honest you with do? you, you know, because I was as a, as a like a little kid. Yeah. Uh, I used to, uh, and I think they always like, what, did they do this kneading? Yeah, you gotta need it. Good eye, good eye. Yeah. You gotta right, good. need it. So, uh, uh, as a kid, you know, I used to get dirty and stuff like that. You know, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I was all about that. But uh, when I, I turned to, you know, my step, when my stepdad came into the picture, mm. he was a mechanic, oh, right? Okay. And so... And I loved working with him and, and, you know, working on cars and stuff like that. I hate working on cars now, probably because I, I sell, you know, I was paroled for time served with him, <laughs> you know, but I used to always have to get under the car and like get the bolts out and you get all greasy and oh, yeah. I hated well, it. Well, you either, you either, yeah. uh, when you have to do that, form uh, a love for it. Where mm -hmm. you be a car guy or you go the opposite way. No, I was yeah. the opposite yeah. way. Like, now I won't even like, ugh, you know, <laughs> yeah. not interested in any of it. So I'm making a meatball. You're making good. a meatball? Yeah, would that be good? Yeah, I mean, hey, I if mean, that's what you please. If that's what you got. That's fine by me. You're going to win no cat challenges with a meatball. You're not going to win a challenge with a meatball. I don't know what's us. So anyway, so we have a couple yeah, super Yeah, I'm going to hit supers while yeah. we're going, all right? Yeah, so yeah. basically supers. we can still talk to you guys. We can still hang oh, yeah. out with you guys. We can tell stories. And in the meantime, Lori's making, uh, are you building up like a pot? Oh, <laughs> man. Are you doing, what do they call that? What do they call that again? 
Uh, it's uh, a, a something pot. forming, something forming, terraforming. No, 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 <laughs> terraforming. That's a, that's in Mars. No. Uh, Tiffany says, "Hey guys, my boyfriend just got a pottery wheel to start doing pottery. Also, Lori, what is no your way. favorite color? Uh, hashtag Tiffany's twenty third blast of the reptilian. Can we Let's guess see. Mom's favorite color first? Well, can, can I, I? Okay, guess it. Guess it. Um, all right. So this is what I'm going to say. All right. I watched a movie. Okay. The other day called, uh, well, I've seen it before, Ex Machinima. Is Ex oh, Ex Machina? Ex, yeah. Ex Machina. Whatever. Uh, great. And so the, great. the, the yeah. Great. Wonderful. So, <laughs> so the, uh, it was a great movie, by the way. It is. So um, the AI chick asks the guy, and she says, I can tell if you're lying. Yeah. And she says, what's your favorite color? Okay. And he says, black. And she says, you're lying. And he goes, he looks at her and he goes, like he was confused. Like she actually knew that his favorite color wasn't black. And uh -huh. he said, he goes, well, what, I don't understand. And she said, you're lying. You, that's not your favorite color. Okay. He said, okay, I don't have a favorite color because I'm not six. Mm. And was so, that the right answer? And then that was the right answer. So, so what's your favorite color, Lori? <laughs> well, I'm definitely not six. <laughs> so you don't um, have a favorite? Yeah, you know, I mean, do you always have so, favorite colors or... This is the thing that's always a weird question for me because it really depends on what what, what is the color yeah. what you're talking about too like if it's clothes or if it's you know oh, a yeah. thing. A it's a not car. like okay my favorite color is blue and I love all things blue or mm. you know whatever like it just depends on yeah what it is um, my favorite so, color is green so I don't Why? Cash. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. just kidding. <laughs> Typical white man. <laughs> no. Yeah, so it just it it, it just depends, you know. Um, it, Gosh, in, I'm already getting so dirty. Oh my god, dude! Well, you are. <laughs> yeah. You clean snakes, you bro. You are not at all. Like I don't even pretend understand. it's urates. Yeah, you have no. You were literally yeah, this weekend you would be elbow juggling. deep You're into juggling them. Poop. I was juggling what? Daisy poop, dude. Yeah. Daisy poop, yeah. And it wouldn't even phase you. You were literally swimming in ivy. Piss and shit this weekend yeah. cleaning that, the that enclosure. That is actually true. Uh, that's <laughs> dirty. This that is, is clay. This is yeah. True. See, that's disturbing this to is me clay. because, like I said, honestly, mm. I feel like most really fun things are dirty. Yes. Oh yeah. You're, you know, you're a dirty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that from me. That's my mama. <laughs> She likes the she likes the syrup. Especially when you're what the fuck does when that mean? That must, that must be an eighties reference right there. Yeah, I don't know what that. I don't know what the about. sex syrup is, no, but I don't want to know. It's that KY baby. Uh, okay. All right, so <laughs> little, <laughs> little Bogus says we're so excited to see you in two weeks. Booked a J tour. Come on, a oh, J tour. Boo. A J tour. Why'd you book, book a, a J tour? tour? You know that edutainer baby. You should have the edutainer. Should have booked a Noah to her. Then you would add some fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, well. Look good. Well, she's coming in two weeks. You yeah. said. Um, awesome. Excited to see you in two weeks. Yes. Awesome. I'm excited to see you in two weeks. Can't I wait. hope that uh, I'll be here. Uh, so, <laughs> do you know what Little Bogus's name actually is? I don't because know. Vanilla P. Because that's not what's going to show up on the order. Oh, that's and right. And we're How not going to know. know. Oh, jeez. Penelope. Let me that. know down below, Little Bogus. Oh. Okay. I gotta move this because my mic was actually in the way. Oh, <laughs> nice! Now you're making a big mess all over the mic. Silver Cash said, uh, "I got to Jason and Bob View podcast last night. Pretty awesome, and uh, and loved Lori on Derek Reptiles podcast last Thursday. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I saw that, that 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 Bob Vu. Uh, I met him once. Seems like a really cool guy. Bob Vu. Yeah. What's What's he do? It's it's ball voodoo? python. No ball python guy. He, it would be cooler if he did voodoo. That's Don't true. You think? That's true. Bob's Bob voodoo. voodoo. Voodoo, who do 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 voodoo? Who do do voodoo? Man, they they, they make it what? look a lot easier than it is <laughs> on the pottery show. That's how you know they're good. What's what's the one chick that you really liked? Roslyn. Nessa Hutchins. Roslyn, yes. Okay. <laughs> you are you are channeling your inner Roslyn with your sculpting right Ooh. now. Yes, is I'm that the crier? No, that? that's the guy, the judge. This ah, was a woman. I like it, but she was Me too. she was. Kind of Did odd. you watch it, Jay? I've seen it. Yeah, I see. I've seen a couple episodes. <laughs> she was odd looking, but she was really good at sculpting. Like yeah. when it came to this kind of stuff, like and she, she talked like she had an unbelievable yeah. like. She had wait. a very weird voice. In the <laughs> Are you saying that a woman, the woman, was odd looking? Yes. She was odd. Like what made her look so weird? Was different. <sighs> I didn't see her. I don't 
don't know. She had a very just the bone peculiar, structure. Yes, face, and then you know she had very distinct like the black eyeliner, mm. and she was older, but like I don't know. But she anyways, it's nice. Very, there's nothing like a little family time. Super p- nice. L- Mead in the clay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when was you the know? last time we done this? Never. We've never done this. Well, exactly. And to do it. Not to all together, but I'm Okay, sure yeah, that's that's actually season. Yeah, that's her. No, that's her down in the, the yeah, black, middle, right the there, right the there. Red, yes. Yep, that's her. That's Rosalind. Rosalind. She was really talented as far as sculpting. Yeah. You know. Like, she no. doesn't look that strange. You got to watch the show. It might be a good picture. She was actually really cool, though. I, I liked her. She huh. did some great stuff. Uh, Little Bogus came back and said, can't stay the whole time. I'm taking my snake to the vet. With a bulging eye in a bit. Oh my god! I hope that's oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's terrible. How the hell do snakes get bulging eyes? Dad? Well, it's usually something to do with like subocular uh, infection. Infection. Or uh, <laughs> that's so funny that you, <laughs> you say something so complicated. <laughs> I know. It's subocular. You know, it's just infection. the subocular. I was but, expecting you know, something like, oh, it hits its eye on the corner of the cage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just you know. Hopefully, there's just you know like relieving some stress sometimes it can even be like stuck shed mm. you know it can be an eye cap that got a little infected something it could be simple it could be something more complicated regardless i hope that whatever it is it's good uh and mr clickbait says make a giant pp i'm oh. working on it <laughs> well noise <laughs> no, always. Always, yeah i think he's already there i'm that, trying to make a creative can i, can I get uh can i get uh that that the nose you picking want the, tool oh uh, are one? you using that one <laughs> you want this one no okay i want that one <laughs> You were trying. You, you sure? Sure you don't just want that Just for a little one? bit. Just for a little bit. Okay, who, what else uh, we got? Diaz says, hey, Brian, Lori, Noah, and Jay. What's I love up, you guys. And Lori, thank you so much for being the awesome you are. Brian, you are so amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, Fuck, you <laughs> Fuck you, too. Fuck you, too. Weren't, you weren't here. Wow. Last yeah, when she, when she met, was yeah, here. We met her. It was you super didn't. nice to meet you and oh. your son and your mom. You guys were super nice. So what are you making, Lori? Are you making a flower pot? Or are you making a toilet? Oh, I do no, need to go. I'm not gonna do the toilet. Oh my god, that's the challenge that sends everybody home. You know <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a tough challenge. <laughs> Toilets are tough to make. Did they actually do that in the show? Yeah, like a yeah. full blown yeah, toilet. Yeah, it had to be working. Yeah, like it had to be working. To, oh my god, the that's hell, they're crazy. not freaking. No, they 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 do pottery, yeah. and then these guys have to know the fully functioning parts Toilets. of all the toilet and make one that works. So that's I was mad because both times both seasons we watched people that really probably should have won lost went home on that challenge because they screwed up the mechanism like yeah. making the toilet work which sucked yeah uh rare dog says noah yes bitch. can i hire you for a 10 to 15 minute set at the will banks cookout july 24th you're going to be in the house anyway big crowd dude that would be fucking awesome are you kidding me <laughs> fuck yeah uh, i'll do that of course dude yeah duh thank you yeah, uh, I guess Hell hit yeah. you up on Instagram, right? Dude, yeah, message me on Instagram and we can, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, fuck yeah. Uh, Jimmy asks, who's up for The Conjuring 3? Oh, we're, we're actually talking about go. maybe going to see it tonight even. And by we, by we, you I'll mean you and Noah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not and sure. And our girlfriends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not <laughs> bitches. Me. Not me. <laughs> No, but uh, <laughs> those horror movie watching bitches. That's horror horror. Yeah. <laughs> I actually, uh, I don't, I don't like watching the preview because these days, like, they kind of it ruin the whole movie. The movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Take like, all the good parts. In I it, just yeah. know that it's out, so I'm excited to see. It. I don't know what is, to expect. Isn't it that? Is that like a, what a continuation? Like, I don't think. Well, so. no, I think I that they're, I they're all like it, stand so. a, kind of standalone. Okay, so it's not like a right. Yeah, they're all kind of st- no. They're kind of all stand. I mean, it's all about the the Warren family. Yeah, uh, who were really famous. They're people that really started the kind of paranormal investigations. Um, Ed and Lorraine. Know, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Oh, wait, yeah. yeah, I think I watched something you with, have. That with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always on okay. at our house. Some at some point. I know. Uh, unfortunately. House. But uh, gosh, I'm I'm not doing so good, guys. You're doing great. It looks good from this angle. Yeah, it looks incredible over here. I can tell that you're working with a human type thing. Is it? It's a pee pee, right? Yeah, it's bulbous. (laughs) It's a bulbous pee pee. If that's a pee pee, I do not have that. (laughs) I'm working with something less than. (laughs) Working with something less. So so Ashley had a great joke today. Oh no way! She she nailed it. She nailed it. And I think that I think that uh, yeah, she got me good. 
So I was uh, I was looking at pictures of a turtle, some turtles. Oh no! And and it was with a a, a tape measure was next to a turtle to show how big it was. Uh-huh. And I said I thought it was about six inches, but the rulers or no, I said, what did I say? How was yeah. it? Yeah, keep I said, going. I said yeah, I thought they were going to be about six inches, but the ruler says twelve inches, and she says that's what they all say. Or something <laughs> she like that. said that's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. But she well, got me good. She be, got me good. It should be. It should be the opposite. The opposite. Yeah. yeah. But still, it just kind of came out because so she good. Got me. She got it was me good. Funny. She got you. Uh, Silvercast says so. Next week's podcast is knitting challenge. Winner gets an otters and a bottle of wine. Otters, I, I you like know, it. Well, Mom, there's no doubt I that mochas. I would exactly because I, I, I get know the otters, how I do know how to knit. These yeah, she would. Not. Yeah, she would kill us on the knitting. Campaign. I'm better at crocheting than knitting, but I can do both. No, I'm not. I've never knitted him. I, I have. I, I did for knitted? a bit. It was cool. I've knit no. before. Very peaceful. I've they taught us before. in third grade. Did Some, they really? Yeah, just, they were just yes. like, let's no, take your I, money and I just actually, waste it no, on I remember stupid that skills. Because I came in and helped with that. They asked me to because I knew. I know. It was just ridiculous. Like, can you what come in f- and fucking do stupid what knitting? Do, what do we need to know how to knit for as third graders? You grader? don't need to, but it was a fun thing to do. Arguable. And right now, you're saying, Arguable bah, 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 exactly bah, but in third grade, you were like, oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, You know how what's cool? How long shit to dry? It said two to three days. Yeah. Two to three days. Two to three to days. fully dry. So what are we going to do with these these works of art when we're Leave done? Leave them on the table. No, but no, I, well, right. This table is way too crowded already. Um, yeah, we don't need more stuff. But we're going to give them away or something. Yeah, like we, that? we can donate them to Salvation Army. Yeah. No, we'll that's always them. what we'll you do with your the left <laughs> Yeah, throw them across behind, the street. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. we should auction them off and then give the proceeds to U.S. Arc. We can yeah, put. Uh, no. That's a good idea. We shouldn't yeah. sell these. We're not selling them. We're auctioning them. I suppose. I think we should put them under the bridge where the homeless sleep. Oh, we're deacon. Yes. <laughs> the, the alligator bridge. Just have them uh, have some art to look at. Keep them entertained. You know what I mean? You I disagree? I feel like yours is going <laughs> to do in more there. than entertain. Oh, yeah. You could do a lot of things with this See, this I like thing. I like what, what you're doing. What is that? Doing. Is that a pipe? He's got, like, I don't know. textures going on. He's using the texture. So you even got a little bottom going. You got, yeah. like, a top and a bottom. Yep. Now, are you going to smooth that out after? Yes, I am. Oh, okay. But good. I want to get the bottom Ooh, in first. What do we got from Rare Dog? Rare Dog came back and says, twice in the white Will Banks? Sweet. Thanks. Uh, looks like you like your shirt. I'll get you a hoodie this summer. It's, uh, mm. you know, it's, it's, it's the nice texture. I like a nice soft shirt, and you got a nice soft shirt, so... It's I'm gonna wear, no, you it know? is the key. It really is. I yes. quality shirt. I don't. Mm, yeah, I agree with you. Like when about. we when we launched Reptile Army, that was like one of my big things that I talked with the company about because we had had some some t shirts in the past that I just didn't like the I didn't even the texture like to wear. Yeah. Like I didn't want to wear them because they didn't feel good. So I was yeah. like, that was one of the first things I said to them is like, I want to, you know, even if and and actually, unfortunately, the downside to it is that you know we didn't want to pass that that on to people. So I make a lot less money. Well, we make a yeah, lot yeah, less yeah, money yeah. for sure. But uh, but at the same time, the quality is way way better. So it's worth it, I think. And that's yeah. a good thing for all you people out there. Is like if you want somebody to wear your shirt, make it nice and make it at least they'll wear soft. it all the time. Yeah. yeah. Like the softer the better, like a baby's bottom. Baby's bottom. Like a baby's bottom. <laughs> why? Why can't we come up with a better analogy? Why is a baby's bottom? Is that the softest thing on earth? I think it might be, dude. I think that that is. Yeah, I think that if you look up in Wikipedia, softest thing on earth, a baby bottom comes up. A grandma neck. Oh no, <laughs> Ooh, no, that's, that's pretty it's coarse. rigid. Yeah, yeah that's, you know yeah, I should. Leathery. Yes, I, leathery. Listen to this. And <laughs> Depends let me, what kind of let, cream she uses. Ooh, that's that's a good point. She's, she's, that using, she's using cream. She's yeah. hooked up because yeah. it's better than lotion. It's the pure <laughs> stuff. But uh, let me know what you think about this, all right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I have me. some questions that need to be answered. <laughs> yes. So I was at this open mic the other week, and uh, there was this woman there, never met her before, introduced myself, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I shook her hands, and, and they, they felt like a... a very coarse. They coarse. She has dry skin. Black oh my psoriasis God. or but something. But like, dude, so dry that it, it was like a maybe she was a, a, a crunchy elbow. <laughs> like it felt like a um, like uh, a crunchy elbow. Yeah, it bad. was like really crunchy and hard. Like it, you know, like the elbow th- macaroni. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know the thing, like in Fantastic Four, the thing. <laughs> yes. Like how he looks all rocky and stuff. Like that's how her hand felt. Was like how I imagine her uh, the thing skin feels, and um. I don't know. What do you think about that? Is it because she smokes cigarettes? Is it? What's up with that? 
She probably What's just up has, with that? I don't know. She's Everyone not has different. Not moisturizing. Skin. Not moisturized. Doing the moisturizing. It's yeah. so important to moisturize. Yeah, women. <laughs> you got to moisturize. You got to moisturize. Men do too. No, yeah. we're more manly. We, That's you true. You know, we're hunters. Yeah, I don't rub that lotion no, on me. No, I think that. we're I hunters. Don't, I don't think most men are hunters. You're not. I'm a hunter. No, you're not. I mean, if things went to shit, I'm doing the hunting. Yeah, you're gathering. I mean, we would definitely. I mean, you're don't. definitely gathering yeah. berries, mom. I mean, I'd hunt if, really? if I had to. <laughs> yeah, I'm stabbing fish with spears and, and shit think... while you're picking berries off a bush. Yeah. Really? You think so? Definitely. That's not true. I think I'm done, guys. You're right, dad. <laughs> exactly. Dad be you're picking right, the berries. Berry I'd picking. be stabbing the shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think I'm done, guys. <laughs> I think I'm done with my sculpture. Uh, Probably not. Let's see. Turn around. Pick Let's it up. see what we got. Ugh. <laughs> we lift it up a little bit, bro. Is, is that a turtle man? Ooh, it's Spider Man, alien guy. Wow, it's a gray. How? Well, it's a gray. Way. It's a gray. Wow. It's gonna get Ray. What when about gets... mine? What about mine? It's like a cobra back. Ooh, it actually, it, it, is it like a three bong? bong. Yeah, it's <laughs> a three ball bong. <laughs> a three ball bong. You just do. I, I did connect them all. Is there a hole though? I couldn't. Oh. Uh, I couldn't make, well, make a, tube. a tube through the shaft. Yeah, it's hard. Oh yeah, that would be difficult. You gotta do uh, Can't extrusion. You've got to do extrusion. Mm. Is what you've got to do. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Simple so, man said, uh, "What's up, buddy? Hope you're all doing well." I asked my mom about the chlorine for the pool, and she said she has enough for the season. She's oh, thinking good. about the salt pool though. Salt pool is way the way to go. I love salt like, pools. Yeah, like we have a, a cold tub. That yeah. we do, which by the way I did yesterday. Oh, so, so good. Oh, especially man. in the weather right now. Oh, my probably... God. it's It was so good. Mm. It was actually raining a little bit, too, which yeah. made it kind of more interesting, you know? <laughs> it's I was like sitting out yeah. there. It was like kind of pretty warm. Mm. It's raining. Sitting Tell in that cold tub. It. Primal, I mean, it was... right? It's primal stuff, you know? But it is. I mean, it's so it's 47 degrees. Yeah. Which for you, which the, would be heaven right now, right? But <laughs> so 47, 47 degrees for water is a lot colder than people think. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, like, think about it. It's like half of our body temperature. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, to get in, it's painful, to be totally honest with you. I think you need thicker walls, Lori. I think your walls are a hey, little too Hey, you know thin. what I think? I think you need a better oh, sh- design. I think that the, the, I think the little stupid. gray is super good. No, it's not. Let me know in the chat, guys, what you guys think. Is, is <laughs> my, if you're is my three. gray. If I'm three, what? <laughs> yeah, I Listen, agree. you're the one starting doling out criticism. I was not. I, I what, that wasn't sucks. criticizing. Yes, I just said was. I think that your walls are a little thin. Right. Well, you don't need you to know? think anything about I this. I think the, this is mine. as they say, it's the weight. You know, you the know, weight is a little light. You know what they as say? As they say, stay in your own lane. <laughs> you know what they say? Never talk about a woman's walls. Yeah, yeah that's, that's for that's sure. <laughs> no, but that's I don't know. I like my gray. I like I'm, I'm going to keep it. Uh, Clastia says, "No, I'm coming back July 2nd. Noah, you are awesome. Really, you coming back oh, July yeah. 2nd? Awesome. Baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Awesome. I can't this wait. This That's awesome. You spank nice. That ass. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> you can That's piece the puzzle did, together. Right? They actually do that. They do pound they on spank it. The they spank the ass. No, yeah. they spank the." Clay. The clay, they do spank yeah. that ass. Yeah, I think doing an actual like it. wheel would be interesting. I think I would like to try it. I do too. But oh shit! Oh my god! Right into your <laughs> margarita. Your hands are so disgusting. Oh, it's like yeah. Cheeto you're dust. disgusting. <laughs> it's I didn't, look at yeah. who am I? <laughs> what? Who are you? I don't, I don't know. know the. Who is that? Trump. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, that was fun. Good shit. It literally is a good shit, right? I know. It's pretty similar. Mom, all right. I hope this lady isn't I, watching. But remember when we were at CVS the other day getting Zeus's supplies? Yeah. You remember the lady at the cash register? Yeah. Her face was that color, <laughs> and her arms were white right. as dog oh, yeah, yeah. shit. They you know what was out. actually funny was uh, I saw it. Which, <laughs> saved that one. Which, by the way, that, that um, white as dog we know Chris, <laughs> left out. You, you guys know Chrissy, the radio chick? Chrissy, yeah, yeah. Chrissy, radio chick. I heard she's no actually, I think she's over in Maine now, I think, that if I'm not oh, mistaken. Oh, wow. I, you know, I think she, like, left for brighter pastures or whatever <laughs> but um she actually did have a really good tiktok though <laughs> really it was like her first tiktok that kind of went viral what was it and she so she had two of her fingers were orange like that mm-hmm. and she said she goes she goes you won't believe this but some guy said that he wanted to spank my ass for some cheetos mm. then she lifts her hands up they got the orange on she goes can you believe that that dude did that <laughs> yeah, yeah, <that's laughs> it's awesome. like she had a bunch of cheetos yeah yeah so <laughs> it was good a good one. tiktok it was a, it good, was a good tiktok did you see it yeah i seen that yeah that was too, a good yeah. one right you know but she the, uh, um speaking of radio hopefully i'll be able to get back soon I mean, it, you know it's kind of cheesy 
It is cheesy. But, it's uh, cheesy one. It's a cheesy uh, one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit, but you know, I'll give her props. Yeah. She probably thought of it for yeah. a few seconds. Yeah. I think it's, isn't it uh, like, uh, you know, just to speak in truth, Let's right? Let's hear it. It's like, do you think it's unfair? I think she really got her ass banged for Cheetos? No, I think she just oh. got Cheetos. Okay. But, she, but, but, then it, but at the same time, <laughs> never at the same know. time, it wouldn't like, surprise me that much. It wouldn't surprise me that much, you know, but. <laughs> I mean, if you really want some Cheetos. <laughs> I'm in. So but what, I'm saying, saying, what yeah. I was saying is, it, I think it's a little unfair, like Instagram and TikTok. If you're like good looking with a big butt or something like that. It's so easy to gain followers. Oh, it's like, that's, yeah, that's uh, it's all of social media. And that's on yeah. everybody. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's crazy. I agree, though. That yeah, is, you uh, don't have to have talent. You just got to have a big butt. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Speaking of uh, big butts, <laughs> you see Corinna dropped uh, OnlyFans. Corinna cop. Get out of here. Really? Really? Why would she do that? Because she's about to make Bank. Yeah, what do you well, she is going to make bank, but at some point you've got to have is some. Got to have. Nah. She's from vlog. She's squad. from the vlog squad. But listen, Dad, she's the. Listen, with all everything that's going on, that's a. Make I don't your think. Money. Yeah, yeah, it's going to make her stay around longer, in my opinion. Okay. Do you don't want you your think? nose picker back? Oh, you can keep the pick. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> it's yeah. it's weird though. Like, do you? I know this sounds like crazy, but like, do you think like stripping in the future will go away as like nah. OnlyFans kind of becomes nope. that no. thing? No, because there's always going to be the pervs that just want it in person, yep. you know. But you're and thinking, you're saying always as in people that were alive when that happened. You think about kids nowadays growing up. I don't know if they'll go to a strip club. Like that's I, I think that a bunch of pussies if they don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I think they'll always be live entertainment. You know what I mean? You know, it, you know until there's like a simulation that like where you really feel like you're in the the action actual well, like VR. i guess the thing that i well, thought VR was still you know not touch you know what i mean i guess what i thought was that like it's on the, the women VR, it's like right like it's on the women like if there's not strippers to strip and it's much oh. safer to strip to do something on OnlyFans than it is to be a stripper right yeah like but i think that and i see what you're saying but yeah just my opinion would be that you know only fans is going to get so diluted Mm. You know what I mean? There's going to be, uh, there's thousands and uh, hundreds of thousands of, I mean, know, and, so and there's many, probably yeah. only the top 1% that's actually making money. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, I, no? I think it's, I think it's that. everybody's I think, bank, I bank dude. Exactly. Think about it. Are making money. Yeah. All you need is like 3000 people to be tossing you five bucks that, every day and you're good. There was this well, uh, every day. I don't think that's it happening. does happen. There's Promise this guy. Well, no, I think in so, the bigger account. No, dude, I, I had a that... friend that sold feet pics and made like would people would just send her fifteen, See, twenty, thirty dollars a day. Right. I know but, of a, a, a man's wife that does that now. She doesn't even work anymore. She just sells yeah. feet pics on OnlyFans. Yeah. No, I'm sure that there. Again, I'm sure there is, but I've got to. I, again, <laughs> I don't know enough yeah. about no, it. No, of course, of course. Like, I can't. I just can't I'll make believe a that. Feet pics. <laughs> yeah, it's real shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that if you get into the fetish side of things, it's probably more uh, possible to what do well. Fetish you your you, niche, right? If, yeah. Dad, if you made an OnlyFans, what fetish would you do? Oh, my if gosh. You, yeah, yeah. You dirty, hands. <laughs> dirty hands. Dirty hands. Oh, I was dirty like, hands yeah. <laughs> no more, I'm not setting up an OnlyFans. No, no. Although I do wonder, I do wonder if, like, will OnlyFans... Uh, like Kev McCurley did of OnlyFans. Like, will it I break think, out of sex? Yeah, like, will it no. break out of just that? Or will, That's you know... Patreon. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but, you know, it's just weird that some people did set up OnlyFans over the last little bit that weren't sexual. Mm. Yeah, because they're know, trying to capitalize well, on something. how do you know? Are how you do I know what? Did you want Kevin's OnlyFans? See him? No, it was free. Kevin's was free. <laughs> I, never, not, I never saw if it. If you did an OnlyFans and it's free, then it's not an OnlyFans. Well, I don't think you have nobody's to charge doing, for OnlyFans. You nobody's have doing to. Old, nobody's doing an OnlyFans with the picture, the nudity, and not Well, Kevin it. wasn't nude. He was posting snake pictures. Well, that's right. dumb but, on but his part. But people aren't then. paying. Is what he I'm should saying. Be naked. The people right. making money on OnlyFans <laughs> that you got to pay to see is because you're paying to see something. Yeah, I guess I just don't know. I just think it's anyways. Let's get it's off. No, this no, 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 no. You didn't. You didn't. Shit. You didn't finish my question. Yeah. What I don't know what the. I don't. You tried dodging. That's what it was. What kink would you? Provide to the people. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't think I could provide any kink. Snakey to the with snakies. I think you could do some some sort of reptile thing. Yeah. Reptile thing. Yeah, Nikki with snakies. Like you. Nakey this with is snakies. it. I got it. You 
crawl like a snake naked, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and that's the kink is like uh, people kink. act because you know they like God. acting like dogs. You know what dogs you could do? You could you could actually do like that one video where the What's dude that? was on the hoverboard and <laughs> moving around like a snake. Did you ever see that yeah, video? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a great, but do it naked. Exactly what I'm saying. But trying to that do, would hurt so. your willy though. Your willy, I mean, you'd have to have something. You got to build up tough skin, baby. You'd have Get to have some something some protecting, you know? On there. You know, like, how, for a job, like, if you're working a job, you'll do something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Lori. You'll do something that you don't like because you're getting paid for it. Right. Like, you'll suck it up. Like, right. for instance, when I was a, a gardener. Yeah. yeah. Or when I was a landscaper. 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 I would, I wouldn't mind the spiders in the bushes because I knew I was getting money. Right. So like, I would be like, "Fuck you, spider." Right. But if I wasn't getting paid, I'd be like, "Ah, oh, spider." <laughs> Listen, mm. it's true. I'll pay you to do our yard. No. Yeah. I, I mean, just, it has to be good money. I just spent a couple <laughs> hours cleaning the front yard. I mean, I would do it, I'll but I'm not you. joking. It would have to be like good money, saw, thousands of dollars. I saw some <laughs> like crazy shit. Let me tell you. Mm. Like what? Bees, ants. Bees. Nasty ass bugs. Bugs? What kind of Some like silverfish or something? What you got back there? You, I, I don't, don't think silverfish in the backyard. The other day the I was in the front yard. I was coming yeah. in from the backyard and and uh, I opened up the door right mm-hmm. and and a spider fell onto my hand like a pretty decent sized spider just like it was obviously on the door and I knocked it loose just dropped it right in my hand. Mm-hmm. Fucking shit myself. It was so scary. Yeah, that's the worst when they come they creep up on you. Yeah. yeah. On yeah. And by the way, Lori, are you making your walls thicker? Remember about the walls. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing putting a second layer on then? Uh, that's a design. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the little bevel. You okay, know? I got you. Okay. Yeah, I just on, was curious if it, maybe right? you're taking my... Cons- you know what? Uh, excuse me. What are you doing? You're making I'm, something I'm, else. No, make no, some no. arms. Like, you just got Did a bust. Did you literally use it's the a bust. whole tub just for that? <laughs> it's the whole tub <laughs> oh just for that. Oh, my me. God. <laughs> Come on. All right, now you got to do terracotta. I can't do the terracotta. Oh, that's just yes, too much for my hands. Look at... I can't do it. I can't... I cannot do that, Lori. Well, I will lose my mind. Yeah. The I can't the head bust off. up my you bust. Can. Take the head off Come and make, make the shoulders something else. No, this is, this is, listen. Smash it, mom. You know, no, no, no don't smash it. No. <laughs> this took me a long time to make. Grab it some. took you five minutes. Grab some. I'm enjoying watching you guys, no. and I think I did a fine sound, job. I think others sound, want to enjoy seeing I'll do you. some of the other white one stuff. I'm not going to do the terracotta. My white. No, I'm just joking. You can take some. I can make like a little hat for him. Yeah, you could do anything. Yeah. yeah. This is a creative space. Okay, Brian. so give me a little white. The, I don't want the terracotta. You can use the smelly. Oh, I could do the smelly. Ooh, stuff. do the smelly. That's can smelly you stuff. mix the smelly with the tally? I think we can. Why not, right? I'll make a little red hat. Uh, Kayla says, long time viewer, first time super chatter. What's up, Wishing baby? the family well. Noah, I always enjoyed Thank your you, 24 dude. hour challenges. Any Thanks. being planned? Ooh. No, uh, I stopped doing challenges because, you know, you don't I, fuck with I, that. I think it was a. Uh, you know, I, I was just, I'm just over it. I, I want to be known for something else in my life other than challenge videos. And, uh, you know, it was just, it was just a phase of my life. You know, it's just all a part of the road of figuring out who the fuck I am. And, uh, it was very necessary in the time, but yeah. you know, I'm move, I'm moving past it. I'm trying to do I feel, different things. I feel like you're further along than, than I am. With what? In figuring out who you are. Well, I think that it's more of a priority <laughs> of mine than it is for you. Well, you. Yeah. I don't know who the hell I am. <laughs> well, you know, and that's what I don't. I couldn't. I can't live my life not trying. At least not trying to figure out who the fuck I am. Yeah. I can't because it's it's in my case it's tormenting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, well, I think it's a little bit different too. In my case, mine's a little bit different from the standpoint of, um, I, I did know who I was and what my purpose was mm-hmm. um, because my main one was obviously um, being a mom mm-hmm. and having kids. Yeah. Um, and then I think we had this conversation is I am in a new and different phase mm-hmm. that I don't know what my main objective is anymore Yeah. because my kids are grown. Yeah, that's They're a crazy done. transition, right? It is, it, it is. is. And uh, it's literally been, you know, every waking moment, not that, you know, I'm still not here for my kids and stuff, but it's certainly not, it's in a different light and yeah. it's not all consuming by any means. No. So now it's like, now what? And I'm trying to figure you know, out what that now what is. I think a uh, part of it will be, you know, helping, helping Jade with her new adventure because, you know, she's going to have questions if, 
and stuff like that. You know, it's just. Yeah, but even that though still is still like it is a a part, but it isn't going to be my whole thing. No. Like I still have to kind of figure out. I you guess know, you got to think what like, what kind of grandma do you want to be? Do you want to be a cool grandma that smokes weed and does pottery? Mm. <laughs> mm. Pot, <laughs> pots. Or a good one. do you want oh, okay, to be... Can we just, can we just stop? <laughs> You've been caught red in. Because look it, he literally <laughs> just took the whole thing out <laughs> of <laughs> that and <laughs> stuck it on top too. Like, no, but I made a brim. That's just wasteful. <laughs> no, it's not. I made a brim. No, it's you're just not even trying. <laughs> that's not even that is not creative. not trying. That is, I think it's... <laughs> I think it's actually trying hard. This is this is all I got. You know? No. That's all, That's you all got. I got. That is not true. When you want to do something, I wanted to. You I wanted to make an alien with and I, no, 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 and no. I wanted yes. to make an alien. An and alien I'm very with happy a bell with bell hop hat. It's a ma- it's a Freemason fest. It's just bro. more like a, a, a like a Mad Hatter hat. What are Freemasons? I actually, dude, it's so weird. I was like thinking about that the other day. I'm like, I'm about to join. I'm going to join real quick. I see, see what's so going on. So many license plates. Yeah. Freemason well, license actually, plate. I don't your even friend know what the fuck Scott it is. is. Yeah, right? so Freemasons so you are, you know, it's, it's like a, a, a sect. It's like a fraternity. A, yeah, it's like a fraternity. It's a, like, they you know, typically people. they're Catholic usually or, uh. or, or like, you know, that yeah that base uh situation christian base and um yeah they're they're like kind of, i don't want to insult any freemasons because i don't know them that well but um but there was they used to have like you know what, you know events around here with my dad and stuff like that my dad was part of the kfc which is a kind of Kentucky a fried chicken they yeah i know all about it the circus Fucking, right? yeah the they freemasons biscuits. would do the circus the and stuff like that moves. and and um but i think that they also do good for people <laughs> too you know so yeah and they, yeah, they, uh, they, they. You know, but you know, it's got to go deeper than that. It's been around since the Egyptians, dude. Yeah, it's been around you can't forever, tell me it's yeah. just about little things on the street. Oh no, it's got to be deep. And I need to well, know. There, yeah, there's probably a lot of like. Uh, I think. Well, gosh, what you figure? Do what they, was it like? Five of the thirteen signers of the Constitution were Freemasons. Yeah, it's and, all over and, our dollar and, bill, yeah, including everything. George Washington. Yes. And, and Ben Franklin were both Freemasons. And I do know it has a lot to do with geometry and like sacred geometry and mathematics of the universe. That's why their symbols are a compass and a ruler, and the yeah. letter G does stand for geometry as well. Yeah, and I think that there's uh, there's even uh, I, I believe. They they said that Washington D.C. was actually set up. You're in a right. Symbol of 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 a Freemason. You're 100 so. percent right. So yeah, I mean they probably really rule the world to be honest. With and you. that's why I want to know. I think yeah, everybody I rules the world in what? their own way. Yeah, we all have a piece of the world. Ooh, what's your piece look like? Tell me about it. Looks like a penis. <laughs> that's all <laughs> I, I got. That's He's like, but I'm ruling it. That's, that's all I have. All I got is the penis. Uh, I'm trying to serve it out. So what are you doing <laughs> over there, Lord? No, that's interesting. Got you got a little flapjack over there. It's not a flip, Jack. Listen, it's I'm a... doing stuff, unlike you. No, I'm I'm enjoying it. Just because, listen, you know, when you do a challenge, <laughs> yeah. it's not about speed if you get done sooner than other people. What do you mean? You know? Listen, the people I chose who a always, concept. The people who <laughs> always do what you just did in the shows get yelled yeah, at. Yeah, they sh- and that's what we're doing. I think them. that I'd make that judge cry. I think he'd cry. He'd be like, it's a beautiful, it's absolutely, <laughs> Look at the fez. Say, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. That's no. what he always says. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> he would not. Oh, uh, well, then he, maybe he's not a believer in aliens, but I am. He would believe, he would say that's a really easy way out. Oh, gosh. You're not. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I've disappointed you once again. <sighs> It's a the theme single, of life. It's every Once. single day with you. <laughs> <laughs> every day I wake up. Every day I wake up and I try to please you and I fail yeah, every day. But I'll wake funny. up tomorrow and try again. Mr. Teresa right. over here, baby. Yeah, exactly. Ohio guy yeah. says, I think Noah's making a bowl. He did. Um, uh, that's a, that's I made a, a triple bowl. It's a triple bowler. A triple bowler. I think uh, if we took something and just, I don't know how you would do it, though. To get it through there would be yeah, difficult be on a difficult. curve. Yeah. I need an exacto knife, and that's just something we don't have. Mm. We got plenty. What are you talking about? Not an exacto. We really do, though. We got like, the the stuff in here. Listen, Some, just go with it. Okay. We don't have. An we don't exacto. even have any. Oh man, I wish we did. I know. Yeah, darn it. <laughs> darn it. <laughs> Liz says uh, Brian and Lori love you to pieces, but Noah needs oh, to get bitch. popped in his potty mouth just <laughs> one bitch. time for everyone. Oh god. Oh, oh Mr. Potty Mouth. Oh, Listen gosh. here, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. How about you this. come and bring that fist over here? See where I put it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, <laughs> stop it. It was extreme. No, it's not. I got freedom of speech. 
Uh, you no, know what it I'm does being? have a potty mouth, though. I don't have a potty mouth. I just have a free mouth. You know what I mean? These right. these fuckers are trying to take it away from us. This, that, the third. Listen, I'm not no fucking, you know, but I, I like to speak my mind. Jezebel. And, you know, maybe I should maybe I should spend a little more time. My mom used to ridicule me as a child. Think before you talk. That's something I lack. I can't think before I talk. I'm working on it, all right? It's called diarrhea mouth. But when you come mm. at me like that, <laughs> it makes me want to just revolt. Revolt. And she's probably just fucking around, and I am too, but... Yeah, I don't think she's that serious. <laughs> no. uh, and Derek's Reptile says, no bar check for president, so... Oh, See, yeah. there you go. There you go. Sh- and that'll be his campaign slogan. That. Come over here, I'll show you where I'll put your fist. <laughs> and listen, th- that hey, is... Derek. I think that that sums up the internet... Oh, exactly right there you yeah. got one comment like no one needs to get punched in the face the next comment no one needs no to be president, president. <laughs> that sums up every youtuber and every comment on social That's media f- so and, perfect know, it is it did work out very it well did. Thank you. you couldn't have planned that any other ideas yeah Derek no one gave me an idea do. what do you guys want me to do to my alien my gray no. somebody what said else? one of you make a skull but we, you got oh, an that's alien. That's a skull. That's a tough one. I don't. You think pretty much just take the skull. skin off yours, Brian. We'll yeah, yeah. It, uh, if I peel the skin back, there'll be a skull there. <laughs> when are you doing Derek's pod? Oh, uh, oh shoot! shoot that I think was it's tomorrow. No, it's tomorrow. I think tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, I think nice. tomorrow. Yeah. Good. I forgot about it though. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was tomorrow. At All eight, right, eight, Derek. Eight. We'll make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Email make me sure, and tell make me. Sure. I think it's tomorrow at eight o'clock. Did we have anything going on tomorrow at eight o'clock? No. Okay, good. So. so then we're doing the po- we're doing the podcast Fuck. tomorrow at eight o'clock. It is going to be very de- kid, listen. What? I'm not going to lie to you guys. What? Do you think I could do a 20 minute podcast? No. Yeah. It's 20 minutes just to get onto it, baby. No. Like yeah. I mean, I've never done anything in 20 minutes. Mine went longer. <laughs> he'll do. He'll talk to. He'll give you some questions and stuff to answer. He'll be fine. Yeah, but then I ramble for 20 minutes on each question. Yeah. He'll try to reel you in. Will he do it? Will All he right. reel me in? He's so, pretty good. That's your challenge, so, Derek. There, yeah, Derek, your challenge is what is the maximum you're willing to let this go, and can you cut him off? And it's easier with people like you. It's harder with the one-word answer fucks. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. It it's yeah. super I'd rather have more than less. 100%. 100%. Yeah. 100%. It's, yeah. it's, a, you know, it's more of a blessing than a curse. Yeah. yeah. Because, oh, God, it's so hard to have a conversation with people. People that just don't say, want to. Yeah. And you're just like, well, then what are you fucking doing here? You should have just said no, man. Yeah, yeah. should have just said no. Yeah, that's the problem with having probably guests on the podcast. I know Rogan has talked about that before, where it's every now and then. I, I guess even the first time Musk, you yes, know, Musk yeah. was on, he said like the first half hour was like painful mm. because he wasn't like actually responding to his questions. He was just kind of oh. like, you know. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. It also yeah. can be hard. Yeah, too. I like doing that. It can be hard too because like, I don't know, when you don't know anybody, it's like, how do you get to know somebody? And then we're in such a weird society now where instead of just actually talking to people over dinner, we'll go live on the internet and talk to them. Yeah, it is weird, right? I mean, it's super weird. We're super fucked up as a society. Yeah. I mean, well, I was just, just I, ironically enough, I was just talking to the, uh, uh, Beth and Ashley about this this afternoon. And I was saying how um, it, it is a really tough. I mean, like, you know, as a social media influencer, whatever yeah. you want to, whatever that means, um, it, it's not healthy. No. It's not a healthy life Absolutely at all. Like, not. you know, mentally, physically, uh, it's just, it's difficult because, you know, your life is so absorbed with constantly having people pull you in every direction, right? You know, yeah. and, 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 and you don't want to miss opportunities. So you basically say yes to everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then you never have a life, you know, and it's like, yeah. you know, and, and, and this is what I've said, you know, I mean, it's, it's really, you know, I remember Casey Neistat saying that when he stopped daily vlogging, what? he said that it was the most, uh, unhealthy thing he had ever done for his life to mm. daily vlog. And, um, yeah. And, and, and I understand that. That's why I think most people can't keep it up for years like we have. You I have know no I mean? idea it's, how Charles Trippy is still. Yeah, but, you know, I think the only me. different with Charles is that he doesn't, it's not like, a, and I, you know, I like Charles. I've met him a handful of times. Super nice guy. Of course, the guy that owns the Guinness Book of World's Record for most vlogs in a, in a row. He's been doing it since 2006. Crazy. But, you know, it's it's not like he does much in the way. I, his edits probably are 15 minutes. And it probably is just like him having a friend yeah, with him. Yeah, you know it's just I mean? yeah, it's just everywhere he goes, he's got a camera. He's probably shooting with like driving, a G seven X yeah. or a or a, yeah, a, a an iPhone or something like that. So um, there's not a lot of thought that goes into it. I don't think he wakes up in the morning and goes like, Okay, what am I gonna vlog today? I think it's just, you know, what do you just want? Just does the day. Like this? Maybe. 
Yeah. I think I mean, it just goes about his day. Have you watched him, Noah? The, I haven't watched him before, but I mean, I used to it. like years ago, not recently, but yeah, it's I a mean, bummer. uh, but I mean, he, I mean, he's still working every single day, and he's yeah. still posting every single day. It's no, not that's like true. it's not like it's just the video gets made from nothing. No, no, you're a hundred percent right. He is still, 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 still has to have involvement in it and stuff like that. There's yeah. no doubt about and that. But it's been like what? How many years? Well, 2006, so 15, 15 years That's crazy. of you know? daily vlogging. Uh, 15 years of daily vlogging, you know, and he's had cancer twice. He's No one's beaten You know, he's, he's had kids. He's had marriage and not a marriage, and he married the same girl with the same name. Different uh, girl with the same di- name. Different girl with the same name. So yeah. smart. Like, yeah. You know, you don't have to ever get the name wrong. Yeah. I know. Super it's just, easy. It's really yeah. good, yeah. That should be a definitely. preference on Tinder. Like, which yeah. name of woman do you want? Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I don't want any Karens. That's my grandma. I don't want to <laughs> marry a Karen. Yeah, isn't that interesting? That what? she's a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean it's, it does explain a lot, right? But that's you know, what I mean. I mean like, explains why I'm so fucked up. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. No, but uh, so, anyways, point is, is that uh, I was telling them how how it just it's just not a it's not a very good life, and and as as someone that's fifty one, I've already you know, been through a lot in my life. You know, yeah, uh, could you imagine Cold the stress War. that exactly? I mean, I've been around since the turn of the century. <laughs> yeah, um, use of two fossil of them, fuels, two of them, uh, yeah, electricity yeah, being invented. Yeah, airplane, the Wright brothers. <laughs> yeah, you know? that was incredible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. geez, you know, the you birth know why of the, Mother Teresa. You know why the Wright brothers? Uh, uh, you know, they were from Ohio, right? You know why they? That's why they. That's why they built the plane. They get the fuck out of Ohio. That's a good joke. How the fuck do I get out of here? (laughs) Where did we hear that? Because I heard that (laughs) joke. Yeah, I think we both heard that joke. I think we were watching a special. That was plagiarism, is what that was called. (laughs) That was plagiarism. That was was good. I agree. I think we were watching a special. (laughs) Yeah, which is true. But uh, anyways, point is, is that uh, can you imagine that pressure on? A 15-year-old or a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old. Wait, are we talking about building a plane? No, I'm talking about yeah, the social the, media pressure. Like, oh. you know, I yeah, heard I that, like, like that Charles... Word. I heard, yeah. I heard that like Charlie D'Amelio re- recently said how how horrible she oh felt. Like she said like no it was shit. like she she hated her life. Fuck yeah. And, and Make yet, the same video a hundred times a day. Yeah, it's rough. And yet, you know, all these kids want nothing but to be the D'Amelios, you know? Because they don't... And this is a very famous quote from Alan Watts. Good um he says people never really ask themselves what they truly want. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? They kind of just yeah. like they kind of just think they want materialism and stuff. Like it's just like yeah. a natural thing. Obviously, he says it much more pleasantly because he's brilliant. And I'm just he Polish. Is very brilliant. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Polish. But um, yeah. But that is Ooh, what is he says. Is like is like when you know you need to ask yourself what do you truly want because the answer is never a Porsche. The answer no. is never a Porsche. Right. Well, you know, it's, it's funny. It's I, I actually vet. referenced. Yeah, yeah. I referenced to my no. therapist this morning something you said to me the other day, and well, it's it's it? not like this was like oh, not. God. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't like you know so original. Like no one's ever said this before, but it was still you know pretty uh, interesting thing. And you said you know what I asked myself is on my dying bed you know, will I have felt happy about my life? Mm. You know, and that's, it's a very interesting thing to think about. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. were, what was your life worth it? Was it, was it, you know, did you make a difference? Did you uh, enjoy it? Was it, yeah. was it satisfying? You know, something like that. And uh, that is a very interesting take. Was that it I think, all worth it? Yeah. Was it all worth it? You know, did mm-hmm. what would I have changed? And as a matter of fact, do you know that they, um, they, uh, they did a survey uh, you know, AARP, right? It's it's like it's like the old people, the old people. Yeah, not I don't even know if it's or, healthcare. I think it's just like an association. I okay. think it's the largest association in the world, to be honest with you, outside of yeah, religion. Because you don't even join; they just put you in. Yeah, it. you're just like now you're part of the <laughs> yeah. AARP. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, I, think, I, I feel think, like I remember you talking about. I this. think that I I think I got a thing saying now you're in the AARP. I haven't used it for my discount for pancakes yet, but I'm looking forward you get to that. Pancake it, discount? I don't really know if I do. I just you're an one day you will. Like, no, I don't think I'm a senior. I think, no, I think, it, I think 60, yeah, right? 62 is, 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 is I think, senior. But AARP <laughs> is 50. Anyways, point okay. is they, they, <laughs> they surveyed um, all the people in AARP that were over 80 years old or something like a 75 or 80 years old. <laughs> that reminds me, her sculpture <laughs> reminds me of the head from Night at the Museum. Look at it real quick. Remember oh the, yeah, the the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dum dum, yeah, yeah, dum dum, dum dum. Yeah, yeah, dum dum. I don't. Yeah, I got gum yeah, dum. Yeah, dum dum. Eat gum gum. So um, you were saying seventy. So yeah. So whatever they surveyed and they said, what's a one piece of advice you would give young people today? Uh-huh. And they said, uh, enjoy your life now. 
Yeah. Yep. And the reason they said that was that so many people, Die. no, so many people will, <laughs> uh, will, will, no, will work their life away. So many people will work their life away yeah. and, and think like, oh, when I'm retired, I'm going to enjoy my life. Yeah. And then when they, you know, get to that we stage, that they're screwed. No, that's not true. I, I disagree with that. Yeah. Have we worked our life? Yes, we've worked very hard. But I mean, I've at least for me, maybe you haven't, but I've enjoyed my life. <laughs> you know, maybe you've hated your life. I don't know. It seems like it. But uh, but for me, As she refills her margarita. Yeah. yeah you know. <laughs> but no, I've, I, I don't look at the amount of work I've done as wasting my life. And, and the, the point is, is that no, I've said I'm not that saying waste our life. But like, you know, that's we worked our life saying, OK, uh, originally, oh, we're going to retire. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but I changed that philosophy a long time ago. Right. I've I've said that no, I've never I'm never going to retire ever. You know, I mean, for the rest of my life, I'm going to work till I die. You I know, know you I mean? are. That, you know, so so I'm not working like I'm going to work hard. Yes, we said, hey, we're going to work hard, and at a certain point, we're going to be able to slow down, and that got pushed from forty to fifty to whatever. Never. You know, but but maybe never. I don't know. But you know, <laughs> when you do what you love, what does it matter? You know, I mean, it's like yeah, and, and we are taking more time now than ever. You know, we really are. I mean, that's a fact that's not that's not fantasy and so these old people they said enjoy the moment now right don't so, wait don't wait because don't yeah wait. i mean if you wait not only are you never going to get there because you're always waiting for it to happen but when you do get there if you do you won't know how to enjoy your life because you right. never have yeah well right exactly it was an interesting thing too that i think that the average uaw which is the united yeah. auto workers association i think that the average uh, these people, a lot of them work on the line, you know, the, the assembly line sure. and they'll work 12 hours a day, seven days a week, seven yeah. days a week for 12 hours a day. That's, so they never get a day off. And yeah. they'll take like two, two weeks off a week or a year. That's their only so time they're nothing. not working. And they'll do that for 40 years. Well, and yeah. I think that the, my point is, is that I think that the average UAW worker lives less than 12 months after they retire. Really? Because all they've done is work not only in a very bad environment, yeah. but they've worked 12 hours a day. Now they retire and they know nothing different because they've worked 40 years doing the same thing for 40 years. I mean, it changes, but basically the same thing. And, and then they retire and they die. My friend Lou, he just got fired from that job. Mm -hmm. were wow, that's hard to get tw fired from 12 that. hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did he do? 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, well, supposedly you get like a point system, like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. and it's like ten you points. But he got like thirty points, mm. and they're like, dude, like you're overachiever. Just, you're just like you gotta get out of here, like yeah, thirty you, points. You're doing so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and but I, I was, he was all sad, and she was like, dude, I just lost my job, and I don't even know. I'm sorry, I'm saying this live, but uh, but uh, I was like, dude, don't be sad. This is the best thing that ever happened to you, fucker. Mm. It's like you can't, you, you're miserable all the time. Because yeah, you're working be 12 hours, seven days a week seven at a job a you don't even like. Well, that's the thing. If you work 12 hours a day, seven days a week, much, I mean, 12, it seems like 12 hours a day is almost part time for us. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, like but you're getting day. satisfaction though. You're like, you know. Yeah. Like I mean, if he was doing, cause obviously we're trying to become comedians. Uh, uh, and so if he was working 12 hours a day at something comedy orientated, right. he would never be sad or whatever like yeah i mean sure th we go we all go through our ups and downs even the people that are living their dream they still have down days oh, of course um but you know you we can always get back to the truth which is like we're blessed that's a rose Lori. Like that. that's beautiful um <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say <laughs> that's a nice rose no, Hold that no, you're, you're your, right now no i agree with you that's good you're gonna put another layer on that'll be beautiful I that's, that's fantastic, <laughs> Lori. That's fantastic. <laughs> but I guess what I was, what you were talking about <laughs> when you brought it up, like, oh, your death better, whatnot. Yeah. What I was kind of saying there is like, put yourself in the perspective of the future, and then, in now that you're in the future, look back at your life. Sure. Right. And try to like visualize. You know, I remember playing sports. It was all about visualization. Visualize the win. Visualize. Mm -hmm the moment or mm -hmm. the play sure. when you score right you know, this right. is before the game but your coach right. is no, like I telling you I, I know i'm mean, describing for the people and um they and you know do the same thing for your life because mm -hmm. you know it's very important you may learn some things you didn't realize you wanted yep you're right well, no, of course. I mean, it's a, you know, it's, you know, life is, yeah. And, and that's the thing it's the balance, right? And that's what I talk about all the time now, balance, 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 you know, we've lived a very unbalanced life for the last 
30 years, and now we're trying to balance that life out a little bit. And, mm-hmm. and that means you have to sacrifice some areas. That's why we're, you know, taking a day off the vlog now. That's a balanced decision, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I don't know what the future is going to hold. You know, one day doesn't seem like a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. But when you've done it seven days a week for four and a half years, one day is a huge yeah. step. You know, it's a huge step towards, you know, a little bit more balance. I wonder, yeah. so how many, so uh, is that 52 days? Is that just, that's just 52 days off a year. So, right, um, right, right. Yeah. yeah 52 but days. But that off adds up. That's 52 days that you yeah. were working. That we were working. Yeah. And if you, you think about that, you're looking at, you know, seven oh, weeks of, of okay. work that, you know, we had during mm-hmm. that period of time that, I mean, can you imagine when you look at the whole year taking yeah. seven weeks off? You know, that's a that's huge, a lot. that's a lot, you know, I mean, yeah. compared to what, what we were doing, which is zero days, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So it's a, it's a big deal. What do we got? Uh, Rare Dog says instant up, message baby? has been sent, Noah. Awesome. Uh, thank you for considering the offer and have a great night. Dude, hell yeah. Thank awesome. you for cool. offering the offer. Are you kidding me? And Costilla asks how Zeus doing? You know, I think he's doing a little bit better. Lori's been working really hard at it. You know, uh, can we tell you know, the truth? What's that? It's not about mom. It's about how shitty actual pet vets or whatever not vets but whatever the hell these hospital things right. are they don't give a shit about your dog i they think really some don't. do and some don't you know yeah. there are there are right. really great vets and there are really bad vets and and it's not so much so the, our vet that that you know our, our actual vet, vet is great good. is great fantastic but this hospital uh, thing, but yeah the, the kind of surgeon yeah, specialty yeah. It emergency was, it definitely, is always yeah. weird yeah. even yeah. with human doctor stuff yeah well it wasn't know. really emergency it was a specialist oh but, okay but can they, you put your mic a little closer please they are connected yeah to an emergency mm. so no, i like understand that yeah together so that's where in the problem lies yeah. So when Zeus was having some issues with, with the way they had him bandaged, you know, it like we couldn't get them to even look at it. To, to, and, and he had open sores from the, the way that they, they, they stinted him. And, and, and you know, know, that's bad. That, that's the whole thing. And like, of course, you know, I get passionate because it's our dog and whatnot. Sure. Well, and yeah. obviously we want like priority because it's our dog and that bullshit. But... I just get frustrated at the way that they treated treated the problem. It right. just felt like they half assed the bandage. They right. they barely put any thought or anything into it. This is our kid, dude. When like. I yeah, when I saw Zeus come in, I was just like, "What the hell is on him? Yeah. That is so unnecessary." Yeah, like yeah, because he's just got a wrist problem, but yet they had his entire arm right up to his shoulder. You bandaged with this, off giant with this giant metal, metal blade, blade that yeah. was digging into his arm yeah. and like. It was just like, are you serious? Like, yeah. actually no, it's, care about my know, animal. Don't yeah. just put them in some thing and then say, hey, bye. And if there's a problem, we can't see you. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that was just, like, I that think that was the frustrating off. part is that, you know, at first it was like, it seemed extreme, but like, all right, well then maybe yeah. they know what they're doing. So whatever. But then when he actually had an issue where he's got open sores from it and stuff, then they like, oh, well just go to the emergency vet. Like what the hell? You're the, but you're <laughs> the one that put it on. Yeah, you know, yeah, why yeah. would you no. send us to an emergency vet? And then when Lori did go to that, they're like, oh, he have to wait for five. We're going to put him in a cage for five hours <sighs> till we can see him. And Lori's like, F you, you know, I'm not doing that to my dog oh, you yeah. know and and so but thankfully you know Lori <laughs> and then just, Lori that vet Lori <laughs> yeah then Lori <laughs> did it, it yeah. Lori did it herself but then <laughs> thankfully our our vet you know was was there to help out with some yeah. some antibiotics Good. and some ointments and stuff like that so yeah. so that you know for every you know it's just it's just like a doctor right you know there are horrible doctors there's good doctors You're you so know right, yeah. it's unfortunate that you know that that's the way it is you uh, know I wonder if the problem is like you know how like people make their kids become doctors yeah I bet those are the people that are the problem. Yeah, I don't, I money don't, people too. That yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know with vets because I, you know, because listen, there's not a vets don't make tons of money, right? Yeah. You know, and and they I believe they, they have the same schooling. They have even longer. The they have medical, yeah, they, longer, they, but it's make literally less money. yeah, they they make way less yeah. money, and it costs about the same to go to vet school as it does med school, or, or similar at oh. least. You're going to be ass in debt. You're going to be one hundred fifty oh, thousand yeah. in debt when you get out of the vet school, and you're not. So I don't know that people are making it for money, but I will say that you know, like it's like me when I was younger, I was like, I want to work with animals, and so when you're going to work with animals, you have one of a couple choices. You're going to I can work at a zoo, I can be a vet, I can do research, you know, something on yep. that lines. You know, is especially back in the Day when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. So initially I was like, yeah, I want to be a vet. The reason I decided not to become a vet is that 90% of the, what vets are seeing are sick animals right. yep. exactly. and dying. Injured. And I didn't want that. I'm no, like, I, dude. I don't want to sit yeah, there and they're coming because like, there's a problem. It's yeah, bad, dude. Yeah, I'm sure that every day 
almost every day you're at least putting someone's animal down that's yeah. a loved one or at multiple least at seen times some very graphic yeah very yeah maria it, did the um like a vet assistant for two years while she lived in florida and yeah. i mean it destroyed her because she's an animal lover so yeah. it's like every day you're just seeing, you're seeing mangled hurt, yeah. hurt sick dogs yeah, and, and the dogs like you a, love too you yeah, know like this yeah. golden doodle got crushed by a jeep yeah you, and, but you've seen yeah. that golden like, doodle for two years and it's become one of like you've been happy to see it and then you're yeah. like oh we're putting but it down now what i'm saying is i think maybe some vets then become jaded because you know just like doctors become jaded you know with death and and they, they, they you know not all vets i mean some vets are very i'd say probably most vets are still very compassionate yeah but there are the handful of vets that are, lose the compassion because like they got into it maybe because they loved animals and then it's not really what they thought but or, they're 150 or, grand yeah. in debt yeah, so they now, have to keep yeah, doing it yeah, yeah. and it's, now it's like oh, no, I'm just fair gonna... i agree but i also think you know the the problem is is like you said that with the emergency vet is is much just like the emergency room right so they have to deal with the trauma yeah. by whatever level it is yeah fortunately you know in all instances with our dog like it was a low level trauma yeah. like where and that's and and that's what they say and i get that yeah but yeah. that being said you know, I have to judge like, okay, thank God mine isn't the one that is there bleeding out that has to be in a, you know surgery right yeah. now or this or that. But I'm also not going to make my poor dog yeah. wait there alone yeah. because you can't go in, you can't be with them, you can't yeah. do anything uh, for five hours or yeah, more just he's got some because, right. right, because other things, you know, need the immediate yeah. attention. So believe me, like I get it and I understand the protocol yeah, there. Me too. But I just think that I just it, wish you know, there was yeah. there was a better thing and and it, and that's the problem when when stuff happens on a weekend when <laughs> other nothing else is available so everything and everybody's going to these places. Oh, it's funny but, the, but the problem is is that you know yeah. really what it comes down to is that when we've had a like a splint slash whatever put on it's usually two or three days. For that vet to go like, oh, it's going to be on for two weeks without taking it off. That's just not good. Well, you know I mean? and, and not I good. know, I know, yeah. believe me, because that's why I questioned right from the start yeah. about that. And when they yeah, said, it cast. oh, it should be fine. And I'm like, okay, well, you think it will because yeah, the because other ones of, have yeah. only been on for, you yeah, know, two, the three days. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It should be fine. Okay. But yeah. I mean, thankfully, though, and I think, you know, again, most people do the same thing is, you know, I, I was keeping an eye, yeah. you know, and I was keeping it clean so and doing whatever. So by me, like taking off parts of the bandage to replace it is how I saw what yeah, was going sorry, on. Yeah. Had I just left it and yeah, never did anything. Yeah. You get infected and Exactly. Crazy. He would have been in much better, worse leg, shape right. because I still wouldn't know and it would be getting worse. Yeah. So. So thank uh, you for asking. You know, uh, <laughs> so he's, you know, he seems to be doing a little bit better now and he's going to get his actual uh, normal stint that is removable should be any day, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It should be arriving hopefully, at hopefully yeah, hope, any day. Yeah, hopefully oh, by the end awesome. of the week. And then that way he doesn't have to have a wrap on his arm anymore. Yeah, it's more, and, well, it's a brace, a special yeah, a brace, brace yeah. that uh, is removable. Right, and so hopefully, and the idea is, is that if he wears that for up to six months, perhaps there could be some scar tissue built up on the the, the, the tendons that he stretched out that will then heal, a bit, heal yeah. it up and, and hopefully he won't have to have surgery in the future. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Liz says, Jay, this is for you. You don't get enough recognition on the channel and I think you're funny as hell. You mm -hmm. along with the other knucklehead, Mr. Potty Mouth, whatever his name is. Mr. Potty Mouth. He's Love a toilet that. tooth. You. You know, it's a toilet tooth. I, it's, it's interesting how that is like how we invent these words and then like ridicule them. Yeah, dude. So it's like saying. it's a word. It's just a different. Well, no, that's the way a, I'm straining my vocal cords. That's no, all I, it is. I do agree with you 100 percent that yep. you know Gary V talks about that. You know, he's like you know because he swears constantly. Sure. And uh, and 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 I remember him having a story where he said like you know like his third grade teacher. Uh -huh. kid's third grade teacher was like hey your kid is swearing this and that and he said you know he said what what does it matter you know like i don't care if he's gonna swear <laughs> he's like it's just a word you know if, as long as he's doing good in math i don't care about that he's yeah. saying the f word you know yeah. and it's funny because i remember years ago i remember That's um weird. uh hearing a sermon where uh um the pastor said 
that there was this really evangelical <laughs> pastor and he was giving a sermon and, and, and it just wasn't getting over to the, the audience, you uh-huh. know, like the audience was kind of just, his parishioners sure. were kind of ignoring and the guy dropped the F-bomb. Yeah. And all of a sudden, everyone, everyone in the entire <laughs> thing yeah. immediately looks. Yeah. And that's what he said. He said, it's just a word. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not, it, there's nothing, there's nothing, even if you're a Christian, let's say, there's nothing in the Bible not not a a command that says that thou shall not say the F word. Swear. You yeah, know. you know what I mean? Because it's just, so it is weird that we've like, atta- now don't get me wrong, I think there are certain words that are, you know, you know that aren't, aren't swear sure. words, but are, are very bad words, you know, yeah, like obviously we won't yeah. say, but you know, that's a different story <laughs> if you're talking about something that's derogatory, but people really shouldn't be offended by the F word or the S word or no. whatever, really, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, we, we don't do it on, on our main channel because... You know, we, we know kids watch and so on like that. Well, the podcast, not too many kids are watching. So dropping, you know, no. I, I do it. Even even some people, there's been people that have complained about me. They're like, I wish you wouldn't do that on your podcast. I'm like, but it's just kind of, you know, like I'm just talking, just you talking. know, I'm just talking. And, and if an F-bomb drops out, then it does. Well, and that's, that's the thing real. too. <laughs> language <laughs> yeah. drops out. It yeah, yeah, drops dude, out. You know how it be. <laughs> sometimes uh, it just, you know. Like bang. a dookie out of a diaper. Yeah, it's just, just, sometimes yeah. It just right up the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're fuck. it's not like we're kindergarten teachers. <laughs> yeah. And no. like we're teaching a class and we're swearing well like that, like. Apparently, Gary Vee wouldn't have a problem with that. No, he loves that. He mm. wants his kindergarten teacher. And language should be about att- intent, too. Yeah. If you're not trying to hurt anybody or hurt well, anything, thing, who right. gives a shit with them? Well, that's the saying. thing. There's probably different, phonetically, there's different ways to use that as well, too. Right. Like, I mean, if you say, like, man, I had a good fucking day. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's a good thing. But if you're like, you're a motherfucker. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a difference. That's, there's a big there's difference. There's a big between, difference. You know, between yeah. those it's two about words. intent. You yeah. know, yeah. it's also about using it correctly. But you could be like, oh, because you're a I motherfucker, remember, man. I remember um, mm. our one niece was very young and she swore, but she used them in pro- she used them properly. <laughs> yeah, she Good. used like, them properly. It was impressive. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> wow, like you actually are using those words correctly. Good for you. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm, I met this guy at one of these open mics the other day. And uh, he came up to me after and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm hard on myself because I just want to be great or good. Great. And so I'm hard on myself. Mm-hmm. And um, and he just like came up to me after. He's like, yo, good stuff. Like, blah, blah, blah. How long you been doing it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, man, blah, blah. End of the story. I'm like, thank you, sir. Like, I appreciate it. And he's like, don't call me, sir. He's just like, yeah. call me motherfucker. <laughs> and I was just like, thank you, motherfucker. Yeah. And he was just like, see, much better. Mother- I love that. Like, but if you would have started with that, it might not have been. It, was it <laughs> yeah. Samuel Jackson that you met? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. might be. Could have been, been his cousin. That would be nice, man. That been his cousin. I'd like to meet him. That, uh, that'd be a, I'd like to meet that guy one day. Oh, yeah, dude. Samuel? Okay. Samuel L. Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, you know, has he been in a movie in a while? It seems like I haven't seen him in a minute. He's in a lot yeah, of movies. Yeah, he's got he's Hitman's Bodyguard. Yeah, Hitman's Bodyguard just come, 2 is coming two? out. Yeah, yeah, 2 is coming out. But that was probably, it was supposed to drop last year. And then I, I know, like, obviously sure. because of the big break with COVID and stuff, he did do that show. I don't remember if it was, like, called Fuck 2020 or something like that on Netflix. Oh, yeah, which yeah, that's is, right. He yep, was yep, a big yep, part exactly, of that, Exactly, yeah, yeah. And I think that that's the thing. I think a lot of the big actors, why you didn't see them in movies, it's not because they didn't do movies. Yeah. They just didn't release them. Yeah. You know, so now they're releasing last year year and this year's movies it's gonna be a banger you know That's so true. there's a lot of really good movies that are coming i was surprised to see that conjuring 3 is also on hbo max really oh, you know it's okay. you know, you know they're uh, doing but, a lot of that yeah they are but i mean i think that was like kind of a blockbuster type yeah, of movie it's a I was, hybrid release it's, it's, it's the the largest grossing horror series ever you know yep. so i wonder if so. uh those streaming platforms like hulu say you release your movie on there mm-hmm. is it like youtube premium where they get if you watch their show they get a slice of your membership you paid you know, I it, so I don't know how it works, but HBO Max is the primary place that big movies are being released. Yes. Yeah. Almost all the big movies are being released for free on HBO Max. I have no clue what HBO is paying. Yeah. But I mean, we're talking about they got to be paying pennies. They've got good money. Dude. I mean, you got to be paying some money because these are. I mean, like say The Conjuring. If it was pre-COVID, that was probably going to do. 150 200 million dollars yeah. now all of a sudden if even if a quarter people stream it as opposed to go to the thing for free yeah. that means that costs and i think it'll be a studio, lot more than that yeah it could be more than that it could cost the movie theater 50 million dollars but yeah. there's no way hbo is paying 50 million dollars for the rights to it I'm so i'm not out. exactly sure how it works i would love to know but i don't know the answer yeah me neither it's I want just to dig in, find that contract. Mm. Yeah, it's hard for us. <laughs> yeah, it's hard Speaking for us. Speaking about to digging know, in, though. did you see that? Uh, in the t- this is a pretty major thing. What? Frickin', there was a leak in the IRS 
where they leaked the top 25 richest people's taxes from 2014 <sighs> till go? now. What did it go? Not it go? good. Nobody's yeah, paying I would them. think so. Elon Musk. <laughs> Nobody's paying them. By the way, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett. They're all uh, uh, most of them paid zero taxes. It's bullshit. For, for years. Matter bullshit. of fact, it's interesting because Warren Buffett, who I like a tremendous amount, he's been talking about what, that that the billionaires should pay a higher tax rate, that he's he's for tax heights for the, the yeah. richest people. He paid 0.1% in taxes Bullshit. over the last 10 years. 0.1%. We're paying 40% or whatever, 37%. Yep. He paid 0.1%. Isn't and that fucked and he, up? And he's like, you know, a billionaire. Mm -hmm. So, and same thing with Elon Musk. Elon Musk paid zero taxes the last two that's or three years. That's probably why our roads are all shit. No, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, that's, but but talk about cities. a terrible, of course, you know, the, the, the administration is like, we're going to get to the bottom of who leaked this. This is, un, you know. How about you, you know. get to the fucking Money, bank account? Money, baby. Yeah, yeah, how about you give me the, my paper? How about you get to the BCC and you fucking cash out some checks because. We need education. If up I'm here. paying taxes, the billionaires better be paying fucking taxes too. Yeah. Because if they're not paying taxes, we shouldn't. That's well, you the know way what, it what basically, be. but what this is how it works. So this is oh. this is where the loophole is. Is number one, of course, there's there's a lot of loopholes in investment. That's why Bezos doesn't pay real estate uh, a like lot that. is because he's constantly investing. And of course, a lot of the cities that he invests in, they give him tax abatement for for investing in the city because he's bringing so many jobs in and so on like that. And then the other thing is is that you got to remember, you know, a lot of Bezos and, and and Elon Musk value being you know billions of dollars is from their stock prices that company going up right mm -hmm. so they're they're worth x amount of billions because facebook is worth that much not and because necessarily this, how much yeah, they have well right the they, they, yeah assets. they don't if they sell it then they have to pay right. taxes but if they don't sell it they can just have that asset and of course then they can borrow against their yeah. assets yeah. to have to have shit. liquidity yeah. without paying taxes bullshit which is which is so definitely basically <laughs> yeah yeah so they weren't doing anything for say illegal oh no 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 this was a hundred percent they 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 even this legal? thing came out a hundred percent legal hundred percent legal hundred percent okay. legal they did well, not break any tax laws it whatsoever. just shouldn't but be that legal. just showed you how much tax reform needs to happen right right is that these and not just that stuff too nothing. because it's all great if we get the money but also the allocation of taxes after the united states government gets the money needs to be changed too yeah. Yeah. Well, we definitely ain't putting it in the right the spot biggest of all yeah it can't just be going into there. people's bank accounts like fucking yeah that's not good no. what is what is tiffany different? says brian make a helen sculpture uh, she is so everything's helen yeah, I got yeah, a piece of yellow, yellow right here. Right I'm going to do yeller. that. I'm going to make, do, a I'm gonna, gonna make a Helen right now. While you're doing that, I'll keep reading. Uh, Riz says, <laughs> That's all you got to do. <laughs> do you know of a there wild... It is. It's done. <laughs> Don't uh, even Riz, need eyes. <laughs> uh, Riz sure. says, Do you know of a wildlife rehab center in your area? I live pretty close. Been looking for a place to volunteer. Also, is there yeah. a Herp Society in Michigan? So, two things. One, there's the, the Humane Society that's on 22 Mile Road, just uh, uh, east of Van Dyke. Mm. Uh, great place. I would say try to volunteer there. Oh, that's um, awesome. You know, so so they're, they're really, they, they, you know, they're, they're a good place. Definitely a really oh, good great. place. Um, and then uh, what was the second part of the question? Oh, Herb so, Society. Yeah, it was a Herb Society. So no, there's not. And we talked about it. You know, maybe now that COVID is, is you know, slowly going away, if it continues to go that way, we want to start a Herb Society and have the meetings at the Reptarium. So, cool. uh, so that's, that's one of the things that we're working on. I mean, you know, we just have to be at a point where it makes sense right now. It doesn't quite make sense, but it will soon. So, uh, but yeah, unfortunately when, when I was growing up, uh, in the herp world, that's one of the reasons where I met a lot mm -hmm. of people was of at, at the Michigan herp society. It's actually called the great, there was the Michigan herp society, which is out of Lansing. And then there was the great lakes herp society, which was, was around here. So I don't know what we would call it. Probably just call it the Michigan herp society again. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so we're, we we got to do it. And I don't know exactly what, if you need to do that, like officially, if it needs to be like an official, like 501 C three, where you have, you know, different, you know, chair, I, I or if you can just do it and you know, it doesn't matter cause we're not making any money anyways. It's yeah. just free. I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I don't know. Could do it both ways, I presume. Into it. Yeah, I'll look into it. Uh, Heidi says, OnlyFans idea for Brian. <laughs> Swimming with RJ, anything goes, chomp, chomp. And oh you don't gosh. have to worry about any appendages. I can't, oh. I can't really afford to lose much more, Heidi, you know? <laughs> 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 I like that. It already dropped. It's already gone. <laughs> Been doing a cold tub every day. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's a ninny, for I got God's a crevasse sake. now. Yeah, it's a ninny. Dank J says, no, if you ever need a great insult, call her an ankle. When she asks or looks funny at you, tell her she is 
Oh, that's a bad one. Three three, three feet of below. Oh, yeah. geez, oh that's, that's, yeah, See that's you a, next Tuesday. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. That's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> no, see, that's a word that a lot of people get offended by. We yeah, don't, we don't which I don't C get, word. and I don't mind it at all. Yeah, because other countries it use it either. as like their friend. The word idiot. Like, yeah. it's like well, idiot not even said. I mean, like in Australia, they use the C word as a friend. Hey, you, you know. You can't. <laughs> yeah, well, you said it. It's okay. I don't care at all. You said it. That was Jay, by the way. What doesn't make sense is that we here use the word word pussy right and we call oh you're a pussy yeah but, and that sounds worse and that sounds more graphic and juicy and like yeah you definitely, know, ju- <laughs> definitely juicy. more juicy I think, juicy I think yeah cunt okay. is just very it sounds brute. more aggressive yes. yeah it's like the maybe word. that's why i think that's what it is it sounds like yeah like if you're like you're a c word it's like it sounds like you're really like yeah. digging in yeah well, that, digging well, in, i can you tell know? you one thing they're not i don't say it's it, like but they're not taking it away from me you're not taking cunt away from me no, it's kind of like the difference if I call you <laughs> nah. like, no, you're being a real dick today. Or I'm like, you're a cock. <laughs> yeah, it sounds, good... it sounds worse. You yeah, know but, I mean? call, worse than cunto, schlong. Say cunt though, be like, no, you're being a fucking cunt right now. Cunt, say that. Cunt though? A cunt though. A cunt though. Say you're it. being a cunt though. Jesus. <laughs> Why has he got to be so PC? There's certain <laughs> words I don't like to say because your mom yells at me. But uh, she that's, hurts me. That's a lie. I think all of that. I think that lie. that cunt does have a nice, you know, it does have a zing to it. Still, it's still yeah. like it's a, zesty. It's not taboo. Zesty. Yeah, it's zesty. Zesty. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's still like whoa. Like there's not many of those words left. Yeah. You know, no, it not. is definitely one of those words that has a little zing to it, a little ring to it, and uh, it should be. It shouldn't be. It, what's it called when you extinct or like you have a genocide towards a, a rate? Like we're not trying to get rid of this word. Extinguish right? a word? Yeah, we're not trying to extinguish this word. All right, we need this word. And that we means you got to use it uh, sparingly, sp- sp- scarcely, because you want to keep the meaning. Okay, alive. Tiffany, here's Helen. Wow, looks just like her. That's okay. crazy. And this is, she's got a little blood on her mouth because she just ate a rat. Wow. But she doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> Sexy. So that's Helen. There you go, Tiffany. I hope you like it. <laughs> She I, loves it. Uh, uh, speaking of the cunt word, one last thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, one geez. last thing. At least we got on this one. Yeah, one last thing is yeah. uh, you actually have to be careful saying that word at certain places because uh, as a as like an open micer, yeah. because you can get banned from mics for saying what? cunt. Wow. I would not believe that. How fucking stupid is that? That is interesting. And then guess what? If you can get banned at a mic for saying cunt, I don't want to go to your fucking mic. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the focus came back and says, uh, Brian, if it's a subocular infection, what are we looking at? Question mark. And also, my name is Stephanie. Hey, Hi, Stephanie. Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, what's up, uh, Stephanie? So, you know, it, it really depends. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes just antibiotics can cure stuff like that. Um, sometimes it can be more severe, but, you know, don't get ahead of yourself. You know, I mean, it could be something um, as simple. I mean, there are times where we'll see an eye get swollen uh, behind the eye back pressure and then you know they shed out and it c- kind of goes away so um you know the, the thing that's scary always to me is that when you go to a vet you never really know what that vet's level of of, of competency is. yeah competency when it comes I to agree. reptiles so so they may do something uh, you know chances are pretty good that they'll probably just like say hey listen um and, and no you certainly didn't learn about pooling the clay Listen, I was he didn't just, watch the show. He you, doesn't know. Uh, do you want me to show you how I pull? No. Go, you go like this. Go how about this? Like, I want like this. somebody playing Like an with utter. Clay. Like an utter. You pull like an utter. You do obviously don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know about, about that. I, I, tried, I know about though, this. this. It's hard with this clay. Okay. <laughs> no, that was good. No, I wasn't saying it wasn't good. I was just, I wanted to pull the utter. Listen. Okay. You're not even pulling. I no, pulled this one. You got anything. utters all over the place over there, I mister. Can, how many things have you made? I made two. I know. He just quit. It's a quitter. Yeah, see, yeah. Six. I mean, not a quitter. Six. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. You're a quitter. Quitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, but anyways, my point was is is that some vets are. I, I would assume that you're probably just gonna. They're probably gonna just give you an antibiotic, antibiotics. Yeah. You know, and then hopefully that. And that's probably the right course of action, really. Uh, Boss Ham says, after three months, my ball python ate. It scared me half to death. That's awesome. Did it scared you scary that it ate, good. or did it scare you that it didn't wasn't eaten for Ooh. three months? It could have lasted sure another seven was, or nine. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it happens. That's part of it. You know, I mean, it really I've is. I've heard of people saying that ball python didn't eat for a year and a half. Yeah, I, we've had 14 months was the longest one of ours went. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. Pat's in the house. Pat says, hi, guys. Just want to let you know that the cat sanctuary had to close one of the buildings, move all the cats into a house. Wow. Uh, the other building is not livable anymore. 
Why asbestos? Um, no, I think they. It was like a bunch of cats that had like genetic mutations yeah, that led yeah, to like yeah, leukemia yeah, and yeah, stuff, like, right? Yeah, yeah. Some in humans? Of, yeah. No, no, no. Imagine in the though. Cats. Imagine though if the cat <laughs> crossed over. Yeah, it was just viral like, this leukemia. This cat gives you leukemia. Yeah, but that's fuck. crazy. Sorry really to hear sucks. about that, Pat. Yeah, it does stink, you know. And I know there's probably people that were really passionate about, you know, that having that. Yeah. Having that. <laughs> <laughs> passionate yeah. About the there you yeah. go. There you go. Uh, Marvel Ball says, "Thank you for everything you do. You inspired me to breed ball pythons today." Wow. And today I cut my most anticipated clutch. Pied, head really? pied, six eggs, five visuals. Wow. Nice. Thank you. That's awesome. Good, good odds. Yeah, good man, odds. that is great odds. And congratulations. That's you. always, that is just such an amazing feeling, especially if that's your first clutch. That's phenomenal. So congratulations. Beginner's seriously. look. Hey, this yeah. Is, it's all downhill after this, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Next huh? clutch is going to have all normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How it works out, odds work out over time, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tiffany says, oh, so the egg cutting clip this AM was a repeat? So. I think Is that it, true? I think it was, Jay. I think it was. I had several people tell me that we used that huh. a, a week or two ago. So I think that. that that was a, a screw up on our part where yeah. we somehow uh, thought we didn't use a clip that we didn't, you know, that we had already well, used. Good job, Jay. That's all, <laughs> yeah, all me, baby. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we both we both uh, had thought we'd not used it. Yeah. So we talked about it. Because we, we made that the, the hit of the blog. always blonde. know. They know. Yeah, no, that's, that's, so it's, yeah, totally, that's what happens, unfortunately, when you daily vlog sometimes, <laughs> is things blur together. And you that's, know? I think, I think, you forget, you lose maybe track. twice the whole time that's ever happened. So, yeah, like, we it doesn't really do that. Often. But, but, yeah, it was, uh, and it so, won't happen yeah, again. So sorry about that. Silver Cash says, I've made pizzas in the same building since 1999. I hated it in my 20s. I'm still there and love it. It's way more, uh, it's way more easy and making $20 an hour to make pizza. That's, That's interesting. Bad. So he hated it back then, but now he loves it. Isn't that weird? Huh. Sometimes stuff grows on you. Yeah. Just yeah. like uh, I was waiting. A tumor. Yep. Yep. Like a yeah. tumor. That's where I was waiting mm. for. Cancer. Yep. Tumor. <laughs> Cancer. Yeah. Shit just grows on you. Uh, Pat came back to say, will there be a time <laughs> when you will stop buying animals for the reptarium or will you keep adding and adding? Well, I mean, I think when we run out of space, we stop, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, you know, right now we're not adding very much to the Reptarium because we don't have space. But if we expand, then we would add more animals. Um, of course. And then when we run out of space, we'll either expand or stop. You know, I mean, yeah. So, yeah, they'll, there's, there's got well, to. There, you know, and you thing. can also cycle things yes, through. That's yeah. what I was going to say is, honestly, it's never just going to stay the same. Because if no, it just always be stays boring, the yeah. same, then there's no reason for people to come back. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because we get a like lot that. of repeat people. So, yeah. Yep. So, while we might always run out of room and be done expanding, we will always try to switch yeah, things yeah, up, yeah. make changes, because for, for everybody, you know, it's just smart. Just zoos, every place does that. They yeah. change things around. Yeah, there's around. always going to be uh, yeah. a behind the scenes where we might have, maybe yeah. an animal comes off for six months and then goes back on or this and that, or maybe we get an opportunity to get a Komodo dragon that we didn't have before. So we like, now we've got to pull something off to make the Komodo That'd dragon. And so, yeah. so, if so you're not um, always yeah. trying to, uh, you know, make stuff better yeah. and change it up then that's, it's not good for anything. It'll, no, yeah. I mean, especially because, yeah, we get a lot of repeat, people mm -hmm. and uh so we don't want to have the same you know thing every time people yeah. come in we want people to get something to look forward to so yeah there's my cup i it like looks it great. it looks great i actually. got a little you curly cue on the back i love it a little yeah. flower on the front and you yeah. you just crushed that flower and too. I, and i put um really did i put things in the middle okay inside of my cup like oh. little, so when like you're done things. drinking not done while you're drinking you the, see stuff the water's gonna move differently Mm. I put little like hooks in like oh. little crevasses so and yeah. <laughs> so like I put so the water's gonna be it's yes. gonna be All going right. through. So I can't wait till you clean not, it. <laughs> that's not a tea cup. Like a tea bag's gonna get all screwed up in there. Maybe. <laughs> coffee. It's a coffee cup. It's a coffee we'll cup. We'll see how it goes. It may just seep water may just seep through yeah, the sides. It, it might not be. We will probably <laughs> yeah. have to glaze it to seal it. Yes. Yeah, we'll we glaze it and, that. and fire that yeah. kill mark. No, kill we don't need to fire this one. No, we just need to glaze it. Yeah, just glaze. Oh, don't you fire a glaze? Well, we'll get I, the kind you don't. Okay, you can just glaze <laughs> it. Okay, on, gotcha. Uh, yeah, because I don't know if you can drink out of the clay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If I think that we should uh, maybe do dig a little pit in the backyard and do a little uh, Ooh, the Raku. Roku. Raku. Roku. Is it Roku? 
It's Roku's a, a television. I think it's Raku. I think it's Raku. Yeah. We'll Raku? get the Roku out. Yeah. 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 I, really like, I do, the, I do, I do like the Roku. We'll, we'll learn out about a TV show on the Roku, but I think it's called Raku. What is Raku? Know. Raku is when you do uh, uh, oxides in a actual pit of fire. Oh wow! So it's not That's a kiln. Metal. It's it's actually a, you know you you dig a hole. You put. Oh, I have you know, seen those yeah. before. Okay, yeah. I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get really cool effects. Yeah. Uh, Silver Cash says, I breed the rats on any off time I get. I'd never want to retire, but I'm loving the financially, I'm loving being, being financially, financially set. set. Yeah, I mean, it's great, mm-hmm. you know, you. especially when you have, you know, pizza and rats. You yeah, know? I, I mean, what could ever mean, go wrong? You literally yeah. have the best of both Yeah, worlds, the best right? of both There's worlds. no way a Every pandemic can break out of that situation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Clint, our brother, he says, uh, Nick yeah, Cage yeah, 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 hosts yeah. a new yeah. documentary on Netflix yeah. about yeah. the history of curse words. Yes, yeah, we, yeah, watched we watched I did watch that, too. The Bible condemns only misusing the name of God and Jesus. Yeah, and that's that's that's. I think that that was even that that series was was really interesting. Of course, they they talked about fuck, right? And how a lot of people thought it was... Forn- fornication under the consent of the king. Yes. And it turns out that's not true. Nope. You know, what so, is it? Uh, no one really knows what the, the origins of the word fuck just was. Feels it's just coming out. But like I said, for many years, people thought that that was what fuck Actually, meant. Actually, right. that show, you would enjoy that show because it was funny because it was they, good, Noah. they did prove like if you swear, like you oh, can yeah. tolerate pain more. Yes. You can do like yeah. stuff like that. And I was like, oh. Look at that. Yeah. That's Trust me. And, and, and Home Depot found that out. When I my toe. <laughs> yeah. We had flashbacks about that the yeah. other day because we went down that aisle. Yeah, that aisle. I, I literally was shaking. I had a little PTSD. I go, Brian, are you okay? I'm like, oh, and I curled up on the floor in the ball. I can't. I can't. I'm like, I can't move down this aisle. You're dragging your foot. Yeah. I was like, oh. But I swore a lot. <laughs> It didn't stop the pain, but maybe it did. I don't know. It, it probably does. helped. Yeah. It, it simmers it down a little bit. It does. Better. It really does. It honestly, what it does is it, it helps you mentally handle it. Yes. Yeah. Like, because, yeah, when you're in such extreme pain that it's just overwhelming, yeah. you know, you can't even, whatever, by yeah. screaming and doing that stuff, it at least kind of like hones it in to where it's mm. like, oh, girl. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, I don't like anybody that says like, "Oh, don't swear." I don't like you. Oh, gee, yeah, I don't like- <laughs> I'm just. I can't be around somebody like that. Yeah, they're just. Your grandma's. Like I think that. they're immature. Your grandma's like that. I think they're the immature ones. What? What? Are you too good for us? Yeah. Is it, what do you think? What do you think about that? She do you think that sometimes. they're too good? No, I don't think they're too good. I think I think they, that I think some people are just more good. easily offended, right? I think that some people get offended by things. Other people don't get offended by things. Like I don't get offended by hardly anything when it comes to the way people act. But, you know. I don't know. I think it can offend you a lot. I think I'm having <laughs> She's like, we're gonna find well, out tonight. Well, that's my that's that's my point is that you've you've actually you've actually given me uh, exposure therapy for thirty years, uh, <laughs> so I'm pretty much immune. I'm immune to being offended because of you. <laughs> you know what's strange to me is like uh, how they have this whole scene in comedy about working clean, like oh yeah, you yeah, gotta, right, you gotta yeah. Be a clean, I don't get that at all. Gotta be a clean comic, and yeah. and what being clean means is like. Not only just not trying to use swear words, but trying not to talk yeah, have about topics that make people feel yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, or like Bill Cosby. It worked out great, you know? Yeah. I know, man. That's something like... <laughs> well, Ari told us that Jay Leno, so there's a there's a place, a, a comedy place in L.A. that only, you know, Jay Leno only performs at that place. Okay. In it's only clean comics. Like, there's no dirty comics that so aren't allowed weird. at that place. And, dude, I'm telling you, Dad, listen, I'm serious. Uh, I'm not saying all of them, but there definitely is this vibe that you get from those people. So, no, I'm saying not all of no, them. Can I have those? But from some people. What What do you want? The green things? What's the squishy? What green things? The, the, the things little, you just made. Are you going to no, use those? I'm doing something. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought you were just doing... No, you. No, well, I don't want you to squish them up. <laughs> what? How am I going to use them now? But So back to the thing. <laughs> I they understand. were fucking... They think, some people think that they're better than... People that like highbrow versus yeah, lowbrow. they're they're I like you. oh, you. like you are a less tier than I am because I work clean and it's and it's more prestigious and like all that bullshit. And I'm just like, man, I can understand partially, but yeah, I, I get it's harder to write a joke. If it's you're probably not harder to be. It's stuff. probably yeah, it's probably harder to be a clean comic, and that maybe. But the, are your jokes is good? Right. Well, that's that's a good, and that's what I'm saying is like maybe the people that feel they're 
great at being a clean comic feel better than the other people because they feel like, well, I'm a have a, a, a higher quality of talent because I can make a clean joke as opposed to the lowbrow stuff. And I'm not saying it's true. I laugh saying, more at a lowbrow stuff. That's just me. I right? think that. That's, well, that's I was just saying. gonna say that. I think it depends because it, it depends on the person. Everybody <laughs> finds humor differently. You know, I laugh at a lot mustache. of stuff that most people don't laugh at, you know, that might find even offensive, but it makes me laugh. Me too. Yeah, like but when I get hurt. like you yeah, said, yeah, then yeah. you've got the kind of people that get Oof. offended very easily. So trying to find topics and things that they would need to make stay inside more. that person laugh. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? It's, I think you have to kind of figure out, well, personally, I think you figure out you and what yeah. comes naturally out of you. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. And, 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 and if it's one or the other, or maybe it's a combination of both, who cares? Like, you know what I mean? And it is a combination of both. It yeah. just, I don't understand why. It's just like, dude, I say some vulgar oh. stuff. We know. Accidentally. In front of like grandparents stuff. And they just look at me and they're just like, oh, like you can tell they're scared. <laughs> they're scared. scared. I'm just like, what's wrong with you? They're just words. What's wrong with you? I was like, always like that too. Like, what are like, you? Do you, um, do you think that the hair aids to my? But I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I gave it AIDS. Yeah, yeah, it definitely <laughs> looks like it's got AIDS now, bro. Oh god, <laughs> it's a little different, you know. <laughs> AIDS right. AIDS I AIDS thought you were gonna bad. do a, a taste. You didn't give him tassel. a name though, bra. Uh, I didn't give him a name. What did Pat say? Pat said the building <laughs> had condensation issues and mold issues. Talking about the cat the building. Cat, the, the cat, cat oh, okay. the cat. I, was, I was trying to figure out what she was saying. Castle. Like, yeah, ours. Uh, yeah, I got yeah, Yeah, mold is a problem. There's no doubt about that, you know. Yeah, we, we have that in our basement, but we don't give a fuck. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> fuck We're that shit. We don't Stay give a there. fuck. We're dying. Yeah, We're dying right, from though. black mold plague. Yeah. What's black mold do to you? Because we're respiratory, oh, real we're, bad. We're yeah, you fucked. Can... Yeah. Because no. it's been down there for years, and you just seem nobody seems. It's to really care. not black mold. It's not really it's, no. Since when does the color black not make it black? <laughs> He's like that's dark it's, green it's mold. mold and it's black. <laughs> so yeah, it's no. not black mold. Yeah. It's, and it's and it's all across <laughs> the bottom of the walls in our basement. Not just one wall. Oh, uh, arguable. I'm pretty sure can't, we could find we a few walls. We can't see all the walls right now, so listen, we don't know. <laughs> all I'm saying is when we drop from lung infections mm -hmm. and all that, hey, are you just don't are you say that go? I didn't warn you. Are you good to go? I don't know what that even means. Are good you, to go what? Are you good to go? Good to go where? Are you okay to drop? To drop. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> necessarily care, but you know, you I go. still would like to try to do things with my life i would too you got a whole also, afterlife to look also forward to, mister. if if i drop today i'm good to go like yeah, i'm away you've <laughs> done you've at least done some things yeah. with your life i haven't done shit i want i want to stick around for a while you do yeah out of all of us he's the, yeah. one. <laughs> he's the one that wants to stick around <laughs> yeah well you know i've had a hard year i want to now try to have some good years ahead of me you know get some tires right yeah it's trying to try and do yeah, some better things we got anything else, Jay? That's all I got, baby. All That's it years. for supers, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. This clay so thing I don't know, was I fucking weird. Did you guys have fun, though? I did. You didn't. I did have fun. I just didn't do, like, as much. Because you ruined just, all your your whole tub. No, I don't think I ruined it. I think I made something that I'll enjoy. Like, I think Forever. that I'll... Will you? Is this yes. going to go on your desk? It's going in well, the truck. Well, it's not going on my desk, but I think <laughs> it's going to go truck. somewhere. <laughs> it's going on the, the dash. Yeah, right on the dash. <laughs> it melts, it. melts on the dash. It's all Perfect. lopsided. Yeah. Awesome. It'll fit right yeah. in. <laughs> I like that you're examining it more, too. That's I know. Awesome. It's like, I think break it's it. I don't... I Sometimes simplicity is good. You know what I mean? Too much is, is not... And, you know, not that you're guys. When our alien like overlords music. come here, they're going to be real hyped. Yeah, right. that's all yeah. that really. And matters, I had, right? and I did a Helen. He made a gray for, for Tiffany. That's right. You know, he goes, dude. It's been two hours. You just like he oh, made man. a gray. <laughs> yeah, like, I made a gray. We talked about it already. No, your cup is weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Liberty Bell cup. It it's got a little to. crack in it. It's it good. It's uh. Yeah, that one's going to leak. On a, that rim. A, that rim. I can see air. I can see. I can see. I can see air. I can see light. It's, it's a miracle. One, it's one of those, those, those sneaky cups. Yeah, sneaky like cups. Like a Moscow you, Mueller. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is good. I do oh, like yeah. Because I like ginger beer. Yes. I like gingers. <laughs> I just like the gingers. Because uh, they don't have souls. That is true. And I don't. I like Lays it down less, it. you know? Yeah, yeah, just like they're more relaxed. They yeah. don't really take things that serious. Mm-hmm. 
You can't. It's a good way to because live. you get bullied yeah. if you're a ginger. Just automatically, if you go to school. Why is that? That is interesting, right? Because, because a lot of them, a lot of, and I, I'm sorry for I apologize for any redhead people out there, but it uh, you have to probably be a a pretty strong person. Yeah, that's because a out of everybody, that seems to be the group that gets because it's <laughs> it's mean, not as common. I mean, yeah, it's and a genetic what mutation. Do? What do we do? We pick on things that, that are, are different. different. Yep. But I think that's a bummer. I think that's we sad. all do. well, of course. That's yeah. what people oh, people are shitty. That's the whole stem of everything yeah. in society. Like I've never with, that's like on, the third line in the Bible. With, with, people will be shitty. You've never picked on yeah. a ginger. People will be shitty. No, I've never. What the fuck are you doing ginger. with your life? I know, right? <laughs> it's a fun pastime. I'm sorry. Shut up. I'll try. We have I'll a every lot. time they we make, have a lot of them in our family. Every time you make a joke, they get another <laughs> freckle. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Holy yeah. cow. That's but, crazy. You know. So, Joe, you know, tomorrow we're getting um, a I'm ginger. Getting a, no, I'm getting oh, an gosh. opportunity to see the uh, drawings for the building, the potential expansion for the first time. What do you guys think about that? You excited? Oh yay! Oh my god! Really? What? You're not excited? I'm excited. Oh, it's <laughs> gonna be sick. cool. Yeah. Good How about for you, you, Larry? Are you excited or not excited? Um. Yeah. What? It's, it's just drawings. Well, so yeah, I mean, it starts. Everything starts with the drawing, right? So this sure. is an architectural drawing, it'll a be a dope drawing, drawing. Yeah. and it shows like the, the cool. pl- like where the stairs will be, where the elevator will have actual space, how much this space to this space, and how much room we have to actually work with to put, you know, aquariums or or, or enclosures and all that type of stuff. And again, you know, there's gonna, I think there's there's gonna and be a few. Obviously, di- have the. The logistics of what's structurally possible. Yes. Well, I think not this drawing, to be totally honest okay. with you. I mean, to some extent, yes. I mean, they're not going to draw something that can't be done. But uh, but okay. but the structural side comes after. Because this is, this is a few iterations. I may not like them all. I might be like, no, I think they all suck. You know, this is what I don't like. This is what I like. Do more of this. Do less of this. And then ultimately, when we get to an iteration that is like, I love the, the concept of what you've done here, then they they will look at the structural part and, and, okay. and go like, all right, well, we're going to need this much beams and we're going to need this these footings and so on like that. So, so this is just the first step. Is it going to be showing like where the cages are and everything too? or is uh, it just I don't like- know because it's interesting. They asked me a lot of those questions when we we're in our meeting before the drawings, but I don't see how they would be designing an aquarium or a reptarium. Like it would be very unusual for them to do that work, but, yeah. but they might give me some ideas for it, which is, is completely fine, you know, and, but, you know, ultimately we'll design where enclosures go and, and aquariums go and, 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 you know, ultimately. Is that it going to have stuff. like everything, like views from the outside, views from inside? Like views from the outside of the building, looking at yeah, the building. Yeah, the, 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 that's one of the big things, right? Is that the whole top floor yeah. I want to be glass. You know, that was actually Laura, your ma's idea. Mm. She's the one that came up with the idea, and I love it. I think it's an amazing idea to where from the road, you could literally see the entire inside of the building. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the top, you know, there'll be a portion of the top, the, the roof, that will be also all glass. So, and That's someone brought it up, light. you know, that, that, you know, you know, you're going to get a lot of algae, but the truth, you can actually go with UV glass that blocks the UV light. So you don't get the algae, you know, and, and we, there are some aquariums that have glass roofs, you know, public aquariums. So I mm. think we can get away with it, but, uh, but it'll be, you know, it's all a work in progress. And that's tomorrow. Tomorrow we go to actually see the, the drawing. Yeah. Do you get to vlog it or not? Yeah, I'm going to. Of course. Yeah, I'm going to. I wasn't sure if they would let you film it or something. I yeah, know. no, they said that's not a problem at all. We're going to film the whole process. So, uh, and then we're one step closer to making a final decision. Oh, that's going to be so sweet. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, artist formerly known as James Smith up, James? says, hey, family, I have an idea for a reptile army shirt, a shirt with a python wearing shades and the caption could be het for coolness. Uh, I'll just take two bucks on the on each shirt. <laughs> LOL, JK. Love you guys. You know, it's, it's funny. And that's I like the idea. It's definitely a cool idea. Um, it's funny because someone did this once in a <laughs> chat. It was a chat, right? Like where they were like, hey, you should make kid shirts. And I was like, you know. Oh yeah, that's cool. You you know, I should give you ten percent. And then they literally thought we were going to give them ten percent. Oh no, this was literally face to face of the reptarium. Was it face to face? Yeah, because yeah. afterwards I came to you because she was telling me and everybody else Uh-oh. about this, Uh-oh. and I'm like, uh, "Excuse me, did you have a conversation with a woman about 
in your life. Yeah, I was what? like joking because she said something that was like <laughs> obviously like like what we haven't thought about doing kid shirts before. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. of course we're going to do kid shirts. And um, and I'm like, oh yeah, thank you. know, I was just kind of tongue in cheek, like, yeah, I'll give you ten percent yeah, for those. Of course, you know, of course, and like, oh my god, like, Mr. Brian said, yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah, oh, I, I get ten percent of all the the shirt sales that was now. The, that was the conversation I had with you: is you can't just say things to people because you yeah, say I, things and everybody takes it as per word. Yeah, I'm mean, I'm just joking. I mean, I'm not, you know, like, obviously, I'm you not going to give someone. You can swim with Ivy. You can. Well, that's one I don't mind, though. <laughs> no, yeah, like, I don't know. I took a kid in with Ivy last weekend. I saw that. A toddler. It was a, it was a small child. He had to be no older than two. No, well, I si- think he was like four. The size of the pigs like four. we feed. Two. Nice. He was like four. He was like four. Wasn't talking I wouldn't take yet. a two-year-old in. Four-year-old, though. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> he wasn't talking yet. He was wasn't saying, talking? Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm saying is you put Liam know. in there. <laughs> the yeah, fuck, yeah. bro? Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> Just hanging him by his head. He's pooped actually, again. <laughs> actually, he got in himself. Yeah, yeah that'll happen. He got, he got out of the <laughs> and crawled up the stairs. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, by the way, we're, we're, I was keeping <laughs> keeping company with Liam. Don't now. worry, he's fine. Because I remember fine. Uh, Ari was there with me when you were doing it. Oh right? yeah, that's right. He was here. And yeah. Ari was like, could. Could Ivy eat him? And I was just like, <laughs> easily. I mean, that's <laughs> up. I was like, we feed way heavier animals to uh-huh. her than this baby that's in there right now. Oh, huh. Um, well, you know. But like that, that lady. We make dreams come true. That it's lady, like, right. I feel bad for her because like, she must have thought that was like really revolutionary, that thought, like kids shirts <gasps> yeah that's so what's that's that's what he's taking so serious yeah it was like something so simple like 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 of course we we're gonna do that you know what i mean like when wouldn't we do that you know yeah because like, i think it was when we just first opened the gift shop and we just didn't have kid sizes yet like yeah. they were on order but they just weren't here or something you know <laughs> yeah so it's that's funny. so funny <laughs> like the other day like somebody somebody did like a similar joke that i did right mm-hmm. and and i was thinking about it i was just like Damn, I I wonder if like what happened here. Yeah. And I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? It's such a hacky premise. Right. Nobody stole from anybody. Right. That is just a, just coincidence. Not even coincidence. It's just like obviously gonna happen. Yeah. Like obviously, yeah, coincidence is a term, but like that makes it sound even like further away from mm-hmm. how like, simple it yeah. is. Like yeah. so like of course he's gonna make a dick joke that's similar to your dick joke. It's right. just yeah. dicks. There's only so many dicks. And of course yeah, of course about, yeah. your merch company's gonna release kid shirts because kids wear shirts too. <laughs> yeah. It's just like that's not yeah. an idea. That's no. not an idea. No, it's not an you idea. You can't be just... like, are you serious? That's no. that is crazy to me. Yeah. People <laughs> are funny. Yeah. Roberta says, hey, everyone, love the podcast and have a great week. Thank you so much, Roberta. Roberta. Appreciate you. Uh, Deb says, today's challenge. Just smile. Keep dreaming, B. Yeah. Yeah. She always gives me challenges. Uh, And they're always good. You know, they're always good challenges. (laughs) Do you always complete them? Uh, Yeah, I try. I really do like it because they're not like hard to like smile. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure at some point today I smiled. Not very much, (laughs) you know, but I did smile a little bit. I saw. Tell her she could do something with that challenge. <laughs> you know, sometimes you know, I sometimes I start in the morning, and I like this morning was a good example. It was the first day, and I've been feeling really good the last few weeks. You know, I mean, pretty pretty solid the last few weeks, the best I've felt for a long time. And um, this morning, I it, all day really just didn't feel up to snuff. You know, oh, yeah. but sometimes in the morning, I swear, and maybe this will make me seem like a kook, but when I wake up and I don't feel as good, sometimes I'll look in the mirror and fake smile. Oh, and it like actually this, works too. Yeah, like fake smile, and I look at myself, and I just say, "Today's going to be a good day." You know? Yeah, I've been struggling. So is that with weird? That shit too. No, that's not weird. I don't know why. We need. I, I wish affirmations, it, baby. I wish it was there was like a simple way to keep a human happy. Yeah. It's very complicated. Yeah. You know, because even though like we're, I'm doing. I mean, we all, not all, but you know, you and I, we're doing things we love, and uh, you know, and we can get sad too. Sure. And, and even if sad's not the right word, but we can just get thrown off our feng shui. And, and I and I fucking hate these moments. You know what I mean? I think I want to yeah. be feeling great. I want I want to be like the way Joe Rogan appeals to like the people. Like it always seems like Joe is just in a great mood, happy. Oh, yeah. yep. What up? We're gonna do it. But we're it's funny, it. dude. I it's watched. Like, I, I want to be like that. I was watching Bad Friends podcast last night, and uh, Santino used to open for Joe. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he was talking about like that's not how 
he exactly is in yeah. person. That's just well, who that's he is a, on yeah. camera, right? Well, that's the thing. I mean, you know, you're never who you know. There, everyone has problems and everyone yeah, has issues. Course. And actually, I think that interestingly enough, you say you know how it's. I, I wish it wasn't so hard. I think it's actually almost the opposite. Like the happiest people are the simplest people, right? Yep. They're the ones that don't make anything hard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They just kind of go with it. You know what I mean? Again, I, you know, I, I've said this to myself a million times over the last six months, cause you got to remember I had to dig myself out of a, a hole that was so bad with anxiety that I had to really change my whole way of thinking. You know what I mean? Like you have to, and it, and even once you change, it's not like you just are saying, oh, okay, I'm good now. You got to change and then continue to change for months and months and months to show progress. Yeah. And, and my goal is, and I hope that the next rest of my life now, my brain waves will think differently. Mm -hmm. But, you know, again, you know, uh, I can't remember what philosopher said it. It was a Hippocrates or something, someone big, whatever said, you know, the only two things we can control are our thoughts and our actions. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and, and that's it. You know, nothing yeah. else is controllable. And I said, the only thing you should worry about is what you can control. Yeah. And the only thing you control is your thoughts and actions, right. yeah. you know? So if you really simplify that life, like I can only control the actions I do uh -huh. and the way I think about things. And if you can simplify that to the point of that way, life can be happy uh -huh. and life can be free of anxiety and stuff like that because right. you realize you don't have control. So why worry about it? You know what I mean? Like is, is, the, you know, is, is, are we going to be able to do the reptarium? Is it going to be a success? Is it going to expansion? I have no control over that. What I no. do have control over is how I think about the expansion and my actual actions of actually doing it. I either yeah. do it, I don't do it. I do it the best how I can. How you promote, and whatever, yeah, all, those yeah, things, yeah. all those things. And, and beyond that, will people show up and will it be successful? That's, out of your hands. Out, out of my control, right? Yeah. It's and, and, and that's difficult because I still struggle with it. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I, like last weekend, we didn't sell out immediately. We ended up really basically selling out for the weekend, but it was the first time we hadn't sold out in probably six months. And, uh, and it, you know, again, that's out of my control. I couldn't yeah. control the fact that less people bought tickets this week. Now, like I said, as it turned out, I think we were, what, out of, the 600 tickets we sold, I think we sold 582 t or 92 yeah. tickets. So we were eight shy of being sold out. That's yeah. essentially sold out. But, you know. I, I guess but. I just get frustrated at like, like at how, uh, I'm not bipolar or anything, but how like my mood can fluctuate. Like I can go like uh, months feeling real good. Mm -hmm. And just like not really having any problem. My head's on straight. I got my mission. I'm grind like. I feel good about myself. And then something will happen that I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't tell you because I really don't know. And and then my and then my whole mind like I just I won't I won't feel the same, man. I won't feel like uh as motivated and Yeah, as like motivated. Yeah. I won't say, feel the same vigor for life. Like I it's weird how that is and I, fu I truthfully I hate it. I wish that I wish I could just be like, because there was a state of a few months when I kind of just first started doing the comedy where, like, I felt like I was in a real good space in my yeah. head. And I'm like, and I wish I could, like, I, I wish that was just the way my whole life was. But, like, and then I get into these droughts and stuff where now my head, I, like, I think different and, and I don't feel as good and I, and I get confused Mm -hmm. Right, like just a living life, I'm I can get confused, yeah, and uh, and I fucking hate that. Like, I it's probably my least favorite part about life is how inconsistent my mental, yeah, just like life is. I, no, I is think so. that's normal though. I think most people have that. Yeah. I don't think anybody is always steady oh, no. and straight. There's oh, that's ups not, and downs. Yeah, I agree. Life. It's just um, annoying. No, it, oh, it is. is that's just being human and living life. Um, you know, yeah. scenarios, things come along, and we got to deal with them. And yeah, that's just the way it goes. But you gotta just keep working on it. You know, yeah. it's like I always say. You know, that mental gym is what's important. You know, work Absolutely. your mental gym out as hard as you do any any your physical gym. You know? Yeah, it's just interesting. Like not for say right now. Like right now, I'm feeling fine, but. There was a span there for a little bit where I was just every day I was just so fucking confused. Like, in obviously it was the actions that I I was doing. Like I don't know what it was, but obviously I was doing something either physically or mentally mm -hmm. that was like that put me in that situation. Sure. And it's just like trying to learn 
what those patterns are, yep. what you're doing so that you don't fall down that loop again. Learning yourself. Absolutely. But it's just yeah. like, it's so hard to learn. Cause like, Oh, it's well, I think challenging. That's a, it's right, it is. But that's it goes back to it. It's almost like the the harder you work at, the harder it is to get there. You know. Yeah. Like I mean, that's again what I've found. The harder I've tried to not be anxious, the more anxious I get. Yeah, because that alone I, is causing yeah, anxiety. When almost, I finally you know? stop yeah. trying to worry about my anxiety, is when the anxiety goes you know, away. That's you know? a really good point because you know what got me into that tizzy that I was in was working. Well, working too hard on my brain, like mm -hmm. trying, I was putting too much pressure on myself and like sure. trying to, trying to understand how to write a joke and like in overnight, and, it's like, it takes years. Yeah. Man. And then like, just like going to so many fucking mics every night, like. That's yeah, you were overdoing it. You jumped in a little too hard. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you can still enjoy it. You can still work hard at it. But, you know, it's going to take time, and you got to let it come to you. You know, you can't chase it. You know I mean? It's art. I mean, well, there's, yeah. I, I bet you there's, I, I'm not saying there's never been a comic, but there's certainly probably very, very, like. Handful, yeah. Uh, yeah, very, very small number that came on the scene and six months later were, were making money. You know what I mean? That's not what I'm do. To but I'm not saying about. about money. I'm just saying success and or money even knowing in how to do it. Yeah, no, yeah. Because I mean, yeah. every comic will always say, you know, what you're doing now, you you will never think you'll you, six months from now you'll look back and go like, I didn't know anything. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is like, you're right about the the uh, working too hard or whatever it was because ever since I eased off the brakes, or, right. I mean eased off the gas. Yeah. Right. Um. I've been feeling more competent. Yeah. And no, I've been yeah. feeling better. That's good. And it's very confusing because really the Gary V's of the world and those motivators, well, think, they just tell you to fucking grind your but, ass. You know, I'll off. be honest with you. I think that most I, don't agree I, I with think that. that even Gary V has said that although he he preaches that, you know, he's so comfortable in his skin, he loves himself and all this other stuff. I've heard him say, "Listen, when I'm I'm in front of a mic or I'm doing this or I'm doing that or I'm in a meeting, I'm great. But when I walk out of it, that's when my problems start. Of course. You know? Yeah. So like when he stops working, that's when his problems start. So he all he's doing is really and, and I remember again hearing people call it work porn, right? You mm -hmm. know, it's like yep, yep. you know, like, you know, work, 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 grind, 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 grind. But the fact is is that all you're doing by doing that, you can grind, but if all you're doing is grinding is you're just trying to hide from something. Yeah, you're pushing the thing. You're like, Well, I'll worry about it when I'm done working, but you never yeah, get why done are you working, grinding? Right? Yeah, because you can never and this I, I, I was talking with the office staff about this you know and, and and i realize it's hard for someone that has a job that has never had a business that doesn't understand like there is never going to be a point as a business owner that you are successful in your head never because you will always want more you know what i mean like there's no there's never a point where you're like all right i'm done i'm good you know, because that doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? And and, and that's what you have to come in to, to realize is that you have to somehow be okay with it. Mm -hmm. You know, listen, businesses yeah. go up or down. They don't stay the same ever. Yeah. You know, business go up, they go down, period. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no, there's no like, all right, I've leveled off and I've done whatever. So you have to somehow come comfortable with, like, like for instance, reducing the vlog one day a week will cost me money, right? Because there won't be one day of revenue. Right, you know, or the revenue will be cut. But you have to then so, go. All right, I'm willing to go backwards to go forward in my life, mm -hmm. right? So that that's you know, it's a tough thing to to really put your head around. You know what I mean? Like yeah. at some point you have to say, all right, no, I'm I okay agree. there, and because I'm okay there means I'm probably going to go backwards a little bit financially, mm -hmm. but I'm going to go forward in my life, yep. which is more is is maybe at this point in my life is is more important. You know? Yeah, it's very interesting how. That saying, I don't hear it too much anymore, but I remember like when I was in high school, middle school, I hear it a lot, like take a step back to take two forward or what's the saying? Yeah. Yeah, one step like, forward yeah, one two, step. or two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's you. Yeah. But I think something. Noah is doing the opposite is what he was saying is that to go forward, you need to go back sometimes, yeah, you know, and, uh, and, and, and that's, you know, I think that's, that's, uh, that's a definite thing, sure. but, uh, it's just weird. Like, because I'm telling you. Like, I was kind of, like, bullish, if I'm using stock terms, all right? And just, like, kind of just going at it, yeah. all right? And uh, and just heavy on the gas pedal. 
Right. And then I was just so confused. But dude, no, you mentally. one thing you need to realize then, too is that like these Gary V's and stuff, they're doing like business. Yeah. Right? And now listen, a big part of comedy is business and that you can you can work on that that hard. Right. But when you're talking about art, like you can't force that shit. It'll drive you crazy, man. You can't just like yeah. pull shit when there's nothing there. You need to go experience something, be inspired, then you write. You know what and I'm that's, saying? That's what I'm getting at. Go like, to Detroit and hang out and watch people for a little bit. You'll get tons of fucking inspiration. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I know that's funny, but it's true. No, no, it it's is true. true. No, it is true. And, and yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's like and you have an advantage because the business side you've already had a lot of experience with and you promotions have great teachers, and yeah. yeah promotions and you already have 30k on instagram you know how to make th you know, thumbnails yeah, and yeah, titles you know how, yeah you know all everything. the things that these these other guys have no clue about you know what i mean so you already yep. have the advantage now you just got to learn the craft but that craft is going to take time and it's going to take you know and energy. it's crazy it's to like, think if it wouldn't you know what i mean like if you if i was to teach you how to play drums today you're not going to be like oh well i'm going to go start playing yeah. concerts every night for the next three weeks like take your time man it's yeah. enjoy the journey journey of becoming a comedian you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah and honestly like uh you know you listen to i listen to these like comedy podcasts and yeah, stuff me too and they and they a lot of times if they're giving advice to people they'll, they'll be like get as much stage time as possible right i kind of disagree with that yeah i think that there is uh probably different for every person how much stage time they should get a week well, because I think it is different for every person, and it also depends on the stage time too. Well, you know, when you're doing stage time, that's brutal. But, it's a totally yeah, it's hard. Thing. That's not what I'm getting at, though. What I'm getting at is, is you can get conf if you're going on stage more than you're living your life, you have no reason to be on stage. Well, no, well, that's no, that goes with everything. Right. It goes you, without saying. You but know? let me describe it, because if you are just going on stage, you start to you start to not have a life anymore, mm -hmm. okay? So now you're not coming up with anything like fresh, right? It's very, it's kind of difficult to explain. No, it's no. You're no, right not, though, because think about like your podcast just... before you start bringing guests on. It's just me and you, but we see each other every day. We work yeah. at the same place. We have a very similar life, right? Yeah. So like, so we don't have as much to talk about. But when you have a brand new person, you have all that yeah. stuff, and that's similar with like, if you're not experiencing life all the time, you yeah. have nothing to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, but, and then when you when you take a little time off and then come back you have this ambition you have mm -hmm. this this uh this feeling that is very strong inside of you mm -hmm. that you want to get out right right and uh and you can you can you can extinguish that like we said earlier you can extinguish that if you go on stage too much without the real passion Oh, sure. I mean, that's the way, again, I've said, you know, Very comedy isn't that different than life in no. general. You know what I mean? It no. really isn't. It's, you know, it's just like me. If I work too much to burn myself out, it doesn't like, why am I doing it? You know what I mean? Yeah. If I, if I work myself into an anxiety fucking disorder that takes me on 14 months of hell, why did I work so hard? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's, that's the thing I took out of the last year and a half is that, loop. is that, listen, you know, I can have everything. You know, I'm in the best spot that I've ever been in my entire life as far as business goes. But yet I went through 14 months of hell, mm -hmm. you know, where I didn't enjoy one second of it. What did all that success t teach me? Nothing. It did nothing for me. I would have I would have given up all of that success just to have normalcy. Now I'm yeah. hoping that we'll be able to have both and still Mend have it, that balance. Yeah. You know, so what Simple Man say? Simple Man says, great podcast. Hope you all have a great night. Thanks, Thanks Simple, Simple Man. We appreciate you. Ooh, we got a few here. So it Dang. says, uh, Sherry Lynn says, Derek would love the alien. Great interviews. I'm guessing uh, your, your crazy alien sculpture uh, over perfect. there. Perfect. Let's talk about it on Derek's. I wonder thing. if he likes aliens or something. Or if I'm he's assuming he does. Ask him tomorrow. Thanks. I'll ask him. Uh, what, Mama Tom. All we're going to talk about is, is aliens, <laughs> aliens tomorrow. That would, that would actually be good. Yeah. 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 It's a banger. Yeah. Um, Mama Tomsky says, hi, guys. Now, Lori, what is your flavor for tonight? <laughs> and uh, whatever fun. See you soon. What kind of flavor? What did we talk sure, about? I guess it was margaritas, uh, right? Margarita. Yeah, mar yeah, margaritas, yes. yeah. And then it she also margarita. said, uh, I, okay, well, I can't control my thoughts or actions, so now what? Oh, well. <laughs> she says, ask me, and that's a fact. That's so. a fact, yeah. It's a, yeah. When you have that problem, and then you're... <laughs> so then you just know, smile and wait. Then you're just unique, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. and uh, <laughs> and there'll be a place in the cuckoo house for you anytime. <laughs> that's jail, right, jail, jail, Probably jail, all the mescaline. Me, me <laughs> and fair. Me and Jay have been talking about it for a long time. He's locking you up as soon as he can. Oh, I can't wait. I got the key made already. She's like, he's 
like, shit. I can't wait till she gets over the edge. I'll just put her in a home. And the guy at Ace Hardware <laughs> wanted to give me a normal key. I got one of the big skeleton keys, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make fearful. it look good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> she just key Mama Tom's key. <laughs> yeah, that's how, I, that's how I threaten her now. This is going in. You're going to be in there. <laughs> uh, Sherry Lynn says, Matilda's saddle and the sloth of puss. Oh, mm. yes. I like it. I like and it. And sloth of puss. That, that'll be an interesting uh, like toy. Not toy. Uh, stuffed animal. Mm. Sloth of puss. Yeah. Sounds like I think it would be a yeah. good stuffed animal. Deb yeah. says, uh, "Thank you for mental health awareness. It's very important." And that's yeah, so it, true. I mean, that's it's you know obviously it's, it's high on my priority list. <laughs> the thing and, uh, that I think is so crazy about life is how if you want something, you can overwork it. That is so confusing to me because. It's well, this is why it's confusing is you would think naturally, okay, I want this goal. I'm gonna bust my ass so hard until I get it. But the thing is, is that there's never no, there's never a getting it. You're never gonna get it. Well, so there's, I, the thing is, is that I think that there's two parts to that, you know, number one, to be successful, you do have to work harder than everybody else. There's no yeah. doubt about that. You can't achieve very few people. Again, there's outliers, but most people cannot achieve success if they're not overworking everybody else. Mm. You know, I always say that the one thing that I always brought to the table is that I'd work harder than all my competition. You that's know what right. I mean? And, and so that that's one thing. But at the same time, you can't chase it. There's a difference yeah. between working hard and chasing, right? You, 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 you know, we, you know, again, it's like I've said, I've wanted to do a reptile zoo for the last 20 years, but if I would have done it 10 years ago, it wouldn't have worked. You know what I mean? It, it's, we didn't chase I mean, it. It's yeah. timing. It's chasing. And, and that's, that's your path. Now you can't chase success in your world. You can work really hard to get there. And that goes back to that, that old saying when preparation, when preparation meets opportunity, you know, you, you work hard and you prepare. Opportunity. Yeah, proper opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> you work hard and you prepare for the time when it is right. You don't yeah. chase. And that's one of the things I've told a lot of people when it comes to, say, ball python breeding. They'll go like, oh, I want to get into this, 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 this. And I always say, don't chase a project. Let yeah. the project come to you. Right. When, it, when the time is right, the project will come to you. And then that's when you're going to do it. When you chase it, that's when you're going to lose your ass. Yeah. Because you know, you're going to overpay for an animal. The market's going to crash. Now you spent 50 grand and now you're never going to make your money back because you yeah. chase the project. And it's the same thing with all businesses. Don't chase. Let it come to you. When the time is right, it will prepare itself. And that's, you know, listen, you know, doors open, you should never kick them in, mm -hmm. right? That's the thing in business and in life, you know? Yeah. You, you wait for the door to open and you get through it as quickly as you can. But if it's locked, don't kick that door in because if you kick that door in, the universe is telling you stay away. Yep. You know, and that's, that's an important, that's, that's a life lesson that I think for sure my, my, you know, your mom and me learn for, it took us a lot of years. Cause I used to be a bulldog. <laughs> I used to bulldog my way into everything and half the time I'd lose my ass. Yeah. But it's, but that's where I'm getting at is like, it's strange how you and I, our nature is to bulldog it. All right. Mm -hmm. That's how our natural instinct, sure. yeah. it drives us to bulldog it. Sure. When the actual reality is, like you said, you got to be patient. Mm -hmm. You got to, you yep. can't be a bulldog. You got to be no. a shepherd. No, no, it's a hundred percent true. And and that's it's, even like with the expansion of the reptarium, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do it this year if it doesn't feel right. Yeah. If all the, the, the stars align and it goes perfectly, we're going to do it. Yeah. If the stars don't align, then we're not going to. We'll yep, put yeah. it off. And if it takes a year, two, three, whatever it takes, it'll take. Yeah. You know, and there's a lot of things that have to be. I've said we're in step one of 100. Yeah. Okay. You know, we're yeah. in step one of 100. You know, at some point we'll be at a step that we'll have to make a decision where we're going to have to go through all 100 steps. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah. that's not today. You know, that's not no. today. Today, we're nowhere even close to making a final decision on it. Yeah. And that's that's that, that's something that Brian from 20 years ago would have never said. Yeah. Maybe Brian from five years ago would have never said that, you know? I'm, yeah. You know? I'm just happy that, you know, I'm honestly happy that, like, I, I realize these things, though. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I think a lot of people don't realize these things. And then, like, 10 years pass and they're doing what they want to, but they're miserable. Yeah. Because they they get lost in the sauce like like I did for a little bit, but they never regain their balance. Like yeah. but because it's weird how you can overdo it. It's just so strange. Like I'm still 
it's just hard when you're young. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's hard when you're old too because you probably still don't have anything figured out. You know what I mean? Well, you're but always figuring stuff out forever. It's just, it's just really. Who the fuck knows? It's counterintuitive. Yeah. I get you. I would say too, and it sounds like, <clears throat> for the most part, like you've been pretty open and, like, listening and, and looking and learning from us and what we've done mm -hmm. or what we do. And I think that's really important because a lot of times that's that's the key too is people don't, especially if it's their parents or something like that. You just, uh, I'm we'll just feel figuring, too. Yeah. I'm figuring my own shit out. Like I don't have to do this and that. When the reality is, listen, that's, we figured our own shit out yeah. on our own because there was nobody to emulate. <laughs> do yourself a favor and yeah. learn from our mistakes. That's what I Like, think. you know what yeah. I mean? Because we're, like we just said, we're super open, like about what the mistakes we yeah. made, we made and stuff yeah. like that because we're human and stuff. And yeah, you could be leaps ahead of us just by looking at us and learning from what we did wrong and not making certain mistakes or, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, that'll put you... Phew, years and years ahead of the game in anything you try to do yeah i um, wish i could have had someone to look at yeah. you know i mean we had nobody no, we no just, one in our family we ever literally just ran a swung it on our own like all right we're doing yeah. this oh shit okay well game change <laughs> now we're yeah. going this yeah. way this it's is going changes. good oh nope now we gotta do whatever <laughs> yeah okay what does max say max says island girl asked uh brian what helps you through your anxiety that can maybe help me out um so um Meditation helps tremendously. That's Meditate. A big one. Um, and then you've got to, you know, remember to change your brain waves. You know, you want to, it's called cognitive behavioral therapy. So um, don't fight anxiety. That's the thing that, that I've learned over this period of time is that if you fight anxiety, you just become more anxious, you know? So you have to, it, it sounds really weird. And in the beginning, when people told me this, I said, it just doesn't work. But, but you almost acknowledge the anxiety, but then look at it with curiosity rather than emotion, right? So remember, anxiety isn't a problem until it becomes an emotion. And when emotion becomes anxiety, that's when you get anxious. Um, so sometimes you can just say, okay, there's the anxiety. You know, I understand it's there and I understand why it's there. Um, and, and, you know, thank you for being here and trying to protect me. Because remember, anxiety is, 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 a, is a reaction to protect you, right? You know, it's like anxiety is like, hey, there's a bear coming. I better run, <laughs> Yep. you know? And so it's there to protect you. So you can be like, okay, thank you, anxiety, for this. Um, but I'm not going to let you become an emotion and yeah. I'm going to move on. You don't need so, invisible bears. Yeah, so, you know so yeah, so, you know, understand that, you know, definitely breathe, you know, deep breathing uh, is important. You know, you can do, there's all kinds, there's square breathing, there's, you know, uh, I, I like three, seven, eight breathing where you breathe in for three seconds, you hold for seven seconds, you breathe out for eight seconds. Um, uh, but all those things really help with anxiety, but ultimately long-term cures of anxiety is from cognitive behavioral therapy, which means that as soon as a, an idea pops in your head, you have to change the way you think about that idea. And when you can you know, at first it's hard, you know, something comes in your head and you're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm anxious about blah, blah, blah. And then you go, stop. Don't think of it this way. Think of it that way. And, and at first it becomes, it's not easy. Then at some point your brain just starts doing it without you even thinking about it. It just starts. And that's what really cures anxiety forever. Not medication, not anything else, but the way you think about things. So those are, those are the things that work for me. And, and they, they seem to work for most people. So yep. uh, so I hope that helps. That's all I got, baby. All right, well, listen, take us out of here. No, it's uh, past seven. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our clay formations. We yep. got a of course, gray. Mine's yeah. We got a Best, gray... Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got a gray bellhop with yeah. green dreads. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to blend in, Noah. Yeah. yeah. We yes, have yeah. a miniature Easter island with a Trump toupee. A oh, Trump toupee. Uh, Some roses. Nice nice little bowl thing we got going on over there mom's side in a, in a teacup yes i got a squiggly cup that you could put coffee or water in but that's it <laughs> and i have a, a chode pipe mm. so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed watching us formulate these clay creations as yes. well as our crazy talk can't wait to wash my hands you've been checked in <laughs> and we are checking out thanks guys i appreciate you have a great night everyone <laughs>
See ya. That sounded like Sean Price. Peace. Peace.